everyone and welcome to answer the call what's up guys this is answer oh. the call the star citizen podcast with myself salty mike and my co-host Kronzi, where we talk about what's going on in star citizen but it is also mm -hmm. a call-in show so we don't just talk about it amongst ourselves we uh basically open up the line to you guys so there's uh I think three callers already on the line, uh, mm -hmm. and they know what we're going to talk about. But before we get into that, uh, we do want to thank you guys for the members this week. There's been, I think, five yeah. or so new YouTube members, so thank you for that. If you guys want to support the channel and go up way above and beyond than just watching it, which uh, lots of you guys did that last week as well, the, the, yeah. the and, and subscribed as well. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of you guys have been doing that, so we just want to thank you for the support before we, we get started here. Um, but it was a, a really big week for Star Citizen, I think. But um, yep. we had 323, we had an ISC, we had um, some some things going on with Atmo Esports and other racing mm -hmm. uh, groups and Overdrive Phase 3. And I think that covers most of the things that have happened this week, if, if I don't recall all of them. I think that's it. Yeah. Like it's it's a it's a uh, holiday weekend, so you know no um, no SCL or anything like that. But, also, we you know, just well, had the roadmap, so like you know it, it's it's one of those weeks that. Well, I mean, this week last year would have been like an insane week, but we've had just such a crazy start to the year. It felt a little less powerful, um, but then obviously yourself, Mike, and a bunch of other Evo Kashi people who can now talk about it in the chat or in the calls, if you want to call in and talk about it, uh, obviously got to experience some awesome stuff this week. Yeah. Um, and I want and to preempt- on the holiday. <laughs> that was the crazy part. Yeah, yeah exactly. They put it out on a holiday, which was like, what? Yeah. Unexpected. I want to preempt the YouTube comments. I didn't get to do Evo Cardi. Mike's going to talk a lot and I'm going to make him talk a lot today because he's going to be informing me about all the stuff that he got to do. Yeah, Kranz is going to ask questions. I'm going to answer yeah. some questions. Um, yeah. Is basically how, it, how it's going to go. And then people are going to call in and talk about things related. Like, can Star Season 3.23 live up to the hype? That's yep. a conversation that we can have, but it's also the... Mm -hmm. um, the other things that went on this week uh, for people to call in and 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 yeah. and stuff like that. We don't have have to just touch on three twenty three because obviously it's not in everyone's hands and um, yep. and things like that. So, uh, you want to put that on on hold for now and jump into some other mm -hmm. things, or do you want to jump right into to three twenty three? Kind of throw the ball. Yeah, to you let's on hold that. it for a sec because I just want to talk about uh, like obviously Mike has been getting a bit more into racing as of late oh, over the lot. last couple of months. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it was just literally specific... getting collapsed just yeah. before we started ATC. Um, but yeah, the the we had three like major racing essentially championships this weekend, and I don't know. It's just something that I just want to talk about a little bit because the racing community has gotten so much bigger uh, over the course of the last maybe six months, and the events have gotten so much more. Uh, professional as well, which is a super awesome thing to see in uh, this pre-alpha game. <laughs> do you, think, do so, you think it's because uh, of the support of things like that with Arena Commander and other things, or uh, the, the yeah. general, like, putting the PU in the racetracks, or uh, I'm assuming it's kind of a combination of the, the groups that are putting together professional, mm -hmm. um, like, programming, but... What, yeah. I'm just uh, curious, like, what you mean by professional in, in this sense. Yeah, so first off, just want to answer that first bit. It's definitely a cause of CIG putting in, su in support for the racing community over the course of the last two years. Mm -hmm. Ever since they originally put in Snake Pit as, like, a place that you could go to. And then they've continued to, you know, support community tracks. And, you know, we've now got Arena Commander Gravlev Racing that came out. So all of that stuff has been helping all of that through. In addition, though, all of the organizers just put so much work into it. The like actual production value of a lot of these, especially, yeah, exactly. For for streams that are getting like 200 viewers, which is like great in general, but for the amount of effort they're putting in, that's insane, and it's why it's building up so much. I think mm. is because just like holy crap, these guys are really putting the work in. Um, so that's been fantastic. Uh, it's going to be weird once we get master modes in, especially for stuff like the Crux Cup, where everything is going to change and the XGR guys. But uh, yeah, it's just been 
a super cool community weekend. Hell yeah. I yeah. think, I think, like, I don't know. Racing is still a very and will always be a niche thing. Even Formula One, as popular sure. as it is, is super yep. niche. But it is really awesome to see some of these things, and they're really the first groups to to come together and do this kind of stuff with or without CIG support. And now you're starting yep. to see a lot more stuff from from Atmo and from other teams or groups doing PvP things. And I think mm -hmm. we'll eventually start that to see. There was, a, there was a pirate PvP event this weekend as well. Like it was yeah. just a full big weekend event of just everything. Yeah, like I, whoever it was, I'm sorry, I had to remove the the post in like my video react request channel because it's just not what it's there right. for somebody was using yeah, it yeah. to promote that event and like that's sure. okay but um i was super intrigued and i haven't caught anything about it yet but that is awesome do, do you yeah. know any details about it because i i am one of my things <laughs> that i was going to do and relax after after the podcast today was to watch what ha happened with that but i don't know what the deal I'm, is I'm Unfortunately, all I saw was like a, a single post on Twitter, um, okay. and I think, I think Shadow Moses won or something. I, I don't of know. I, I, I completely missed it for the most part. How about part, this? But, if anybody uh, yeah. knows any details on it, call in. I'm curious. Shadow I, Moses I, didn't win. All right. Well, someone won. One of the big orgs. Liberty Reapers. Liberty Reapers. Yeah. Okay. And it was one of the big orgs. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, come in. Come in and let us know what uh, what's going on. I'm I'm curious. Yeah. What was the yeah. deal? Um. Awesome. But that's cool. And then I don't yep. know the the thing that I would probably want to quickly go through next is ISC. Mm -hmm. What what did you think? It was a it was one of those like off weeks for ISC for me. It's not that anything was bad mm. about it. It was perfectly sure. fine sure, sure, ISC. Sure. It was just it's the visor. It's UI. It's things that you're yeah. you're gonna be way more interested in uh, playing with than visualizing on an ISC or hearing a dev talk about it, right? Um, yeah, of course, it's I'll it's a feature it up, that though. I think needs an ISC, regardless. Of course. Of course. So I'm I'm glad that they put it in. But like I get what you're saying. It was very um it, compared to a lot of the ISCs we've had recently, I guess it wasn't as informative or it wasn't as impactful. Mm -hmm. Um what it did tell us uh until the Eva Cardi patch came out, which we'll talk about, what it did tell us is that um uh, CIG still have this really weird design language with fonts and screens. And hollow and <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, it, everything I, it is blue looks, hollow. It still looks way crisper than live, for yep. sure. By by a wide margin, you can see see there on the on the camera. Um, but in certain lightings, uh, in certain positions, especially when you look at the loot screen, because the loot screen itself sort of uh, like moves based on how you're moving, um, it can start to look really blurry and be really hard to read. And I just wish CIG would not get rid of drop shadow but get rid of drop shadow that's a, the same color as the thing that's in front of it <laughs> cuz i actually noticed um in in the isc there's this one image of uh someone trying to buy something right now in game like like the old buy screen right not the shop screen just the go up buy um on the left side they have words there it has a dark drop shadow and it looks fine yeah i think it's right around right it's, around it's there, in just this before area. all that uh, before this um okay. yeah yeah uh and it looks good you can see it and like it doesn't break your brain and then they go into the new mode and it's like all right cool this looks crisp it looks nice but the because you've just got blue on blue ah it's uh, here it you is. know what i mean so yeah, it'll be just before it'll be just before this just before this here. like literally just before this there it is um this right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, on the left side there, you can sort of see because you're not you're not sharing. Ah, uh, yes, so yes, 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 yes. I'm trying to delay, but uh, yeah, on the right left here. side, you can sort of see uh, where it's actually like that's easy to read. Awesome, right? And it's just because it's got a like actual like dark drop shadow opposed to light blue on light blue. <laughs> so why are we doing this? Yeah, yeah. Why I, are I we doing know. this? I don't know. Unless it's like. All this stuff is in Evo. Jared's explained that. Yeah, it could all change for it, sure. It's not even that it could all change. They could literally just not have been able to show you the most updated versions. Like I'll yep. tell you, the Moby Glass that they show in this is not the Moby Glass that we have in Evo. The Moby Glass we have in yeah. Evo, Evo is further along than what they showed us. Yep. So I mean, there's there's some some 
cool stuff here. I think the absolute most notable best shit out of the entire episode was this. Um, yep. Not w how it looks, but how it functioned. Uh, first off, yes. this thing top left, new hacking chip. Or top right, I should say. Is top it? new hacking chip. It's it, This okay. is P4AR Magazine. It's a hacking chip. We don't know anything about it. Uh, sure. I haven't seen it in Evo, but they mouse over it during the show at some point. It's a hacking chip. Okay. Um, the thing that I want to get to that I think is very cool is this. Um, so they're mousing over the P4. Yep. And when they mouse yep. over the P4, it puts a little white circle next to every single thing in the container that you're looking at Yep. to let you know that that attachment can be applied to the weapon that you have. So it's just a simple mm -hmm. little thing that makes life a little bit easier so you don't have to know, like, because there's 50,000 different ammos and all these, like... Yep, and half of them look the same, but are, like, smaller or yep. larger. But, it's or just a massive quality of life change. The smaller so, one sometimes yeah. is larger than the big one, and it's, like, yeah, yeah. the size three, <laughs> and you're just like, what is this? Uh, that I think that this is, like, a size one... Um, this is a size one uh, suppressor, and the size three looks bigger. Or yeah. uh, size three looks smaller, I mean. It's like, it, it makes no sense. So, yeah. yeah, this lets you know that I can attach these things to my uh, weapon, which is nice. Yeah. So I th yeah, thought awesome. this was really cool. And then the only other, like, stupid thing to note, I saw it in chat. I'll see if I can find it here. Uh, there's the hacking chip again. They, this. They, everyone looked at this on ISC and was like, what the heck is this? And they mouse over it, and it says something light. Uh, at some point, okay. it's literally, uh, guys, it's literally a blue light. I found it at a distribution center. It's metric. When you yeah, say blue light. It, it is a light. Like, it is a light that you put like on the ground. attachment? No. You it, you just put it on the ground. It's like, it's like RP stuff. Oh. You, you turn it on, and it lights up. It's a beacon. Oh, it's... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. And people are like coping, like this is how you're gonna make a medical beacon in the future. And I'm like, I don't think so, guys. But okay. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's that's all that was. So if you were curious yep. what this was, it is an Evo. I looted it at a distribution center, and it, it's literally just a light. It's blue, and it doesn't do oh. anything. Uh, for now at least. So yeah. I mean, that's really like all I got from the episode. I think we've seen a lot of the UI things. They reiterated a lot of things we already knew. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I think the thing that I still absolutely can't stand is this still happens all the time. Like the messages? nothing. Yeah, nothing's changed from the most annoying aspect of the game was the thing pops up at the top no matter what. I do wonder if that's a do you, do you think that's a Moby glass connected thing or do you think that's in relation to the visor? It's where, visor. Where do you think it connects? Okay. Visor cuz the Moby glass like they any message that comes up here the Moby glass stores it now which is kind of cool. Sure. So you you can look back and be like, "Oh, what what just happened?" Oh, okay. Mm. Uh and it'll like go in like a journal entry kind of thing. But the uh I think one of the things that I was hoping with this new UI was they wouldn't have this notification that pops up all the time. And then during the yep. show, they said that there would be priority ones and non-priority yeah. ones. Like how is leaving armistice? Uh, well, I guess that is a priority uh, one. Yeah. yeah. It but, is, but there, there's other ones like commodity price alerts should not be a, a priority one, right? Like if that one's popping up, that's a bit unnecessary. It does pop if, up. Um, I'm trying to think of what are some other ones. Uh, no, com link disabled is kind of an important one. Really, it's just the commodity price alerts, actually, I think. Yeah. Because that just pops up all the time. Uh, I'm trying yeah. to find here. Okay. So here's the example of what they talked about with um, like non priority things that they would be over yeah, here. Yeah. I just committed a crime and it went over here. Right? I think, I think, I think everything should just fine. be here. Why is mm. it up? up big you know and in the way that's that was my only thing i, I was like kind of hoping that it yeah, would yeah. go away and in evo it's still up top so maybe yeah. we're not there yet is my maybe that is the saving grace so long as everything is in evo it still could 
be decent, <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, but I mean, I even in regular PTU, like there's, there's always still that there's room changes. For, for those it, things. So exactly. Yeah. So, um, I will say I don't think I don't think that is too bad of yeah having the the majors up top and the minors on the side. Like I, I don't think you need everything to be on the side because and, and you definitely there don't need is, there everything is... on top. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a split is good as long, but it'll it'll be a thing that I have to, I'll have to experience for a while. Like, mm. do imagine though that you were like, uh, let's say you go into SPK to commit some crimes. Um, it is much better for the like fifty homicides and aggravated assaults to rock up on the right uh, side over the top, right? So, I, oh, did, I did it, it again, again, guys. I did it again. I, it's every other week now, so we're we're getting better. <laughs> We're yeah, getting yeah. better. You know why it's every other week? Because the week I have the intro, I forget to turn it off. Uh, when when you're sense. doing the someone, intro, I'm like, boop. So, someone last week did say I'd do the better intro. So just I saying. did see that. So maybe you should just do the intros from now on. <laughs> I, I'm um, fine with it. But yeah, how did the how did the, the visor and the lens translate to Eva Cardi when you played it this week? Okay, so that that's one of the harder ones to answer, just because okay. um, cr like crashes and issues and instability caused mm -hmm. the ability to like grab a bunch of helmets. Have uh, okay, sometimes I'm gonna have uh, a, a combat visor, and sometimes I'm not. Like things like that. So yep. I I just took whatever I could because. We were there were more important things, uh, sure. in my mind at least. Like I wanted to find the animals mm -hmm. and other shit that that I, I thought was cool. Uh, mini map was probably the most noticeable thing. The fact that okay. it was there sometimes, but not there most of the time, because like they told us, give, it, give us an example. What what is an example of not like where it wasn't there that you would have expected it to be there? Okay, but yeah, there's. I have a really good example of that. You wake up mm -hmm. at uh, New Babbage. And it's there, yep. right? So at the hotel that you're in, and then you mm -hmm. get on the train, and it turns off. So it is, mm. it is like very, uh, and and uh, we have an example of what it looks like when it's turned off right here. Radar unavailable. Yeah. Anytime there is no map, that's that's what it, it will say. Okay. Okay. Um, and the, so that is most of the experience, because they're not at like bunkers. I think Wanted Tigers in chat and maybe some other people that I was playing with. And uh, yeah, Durval, were there were they at the distribution centers? Because I kind of, my distribution center experience got scammed a little bit by some bugs and theirs didn't. <laughs> I don't remember if the maps were at distro centers or not. Um, but Speaking of distro centers, not to completely change sure. what we were just talking about. Sure. Uh, to get None. a bit of an experience of Evo Cardi, I did uh, watch your, your two videos this week mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. about your experience. Um, refineries at the distro centers? Apparently. So this is another question that I can lean on like uh, some of the other guys because okay. I, I ended up getting trapped inside of a distribution center before ever actually <laughs> making it inside. Uh, and then the other time I... Um, there's a bug right now in Evo where you randomly just get um, full blood drug level and you you can't do anything. Fun. Yeah, <laughs> it just randomly happens. Um, yeah, so yep. it, yeah, you just get overdosed and it's just you're screwed. Uh, so the yep. only solution there is a backspace and sure. that becomes a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, yep. But did anybody make it to the refinery at that microtech distribution center from our group? I'm not sure. So the only way that I know is, you know how the distribution centers, they're like tall, but then they also have yeah, yep. the exterior area where, where ships would land mm -hmm. and vehicles. So we landed in that area and we landed kind of in the center. And one yep. way was cargo. And the other way, there was a sign that said refinery this way. And yeah. as I was going that way, bang, I got hit with the blood drug level. So I never made it back. Yeah. Um, yep. Meyer says there's refineries there. There's also some weird looking server assets at re the refinery that look like it could be for a mission. Ooh. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh. So yeah, very cool. Interesting. So Sweet. I guess I didn't think that there was more reasons to go back to Evo after Friday. Cause I played all night and barely slept. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I think there's probably now Meyer's giving me a reason to want to go back and see more about the distribution center. So <laughs> I, I might hop on there today and see if I can, uh, yeah, yep find some more stuff but yeah there was a sign that said refinery so 
refineries may not only be at uh, those stations anymore. There might be new ones for new things or yep. something, right? So that's very cool. Um, and I would imagine with with the the economy team has explicitly said that they are messing around with the entire economy in regards to everything. Uh, the release of distro centers. So uh, it's very possible that all of that changes with regards to those. Because I would love uh, distribution centers to have but uh, like the fact that you have to come into Atmo and go to those locations mm -hmm. versus just drop them off at a station uh, should come at some sort of bonus. So hopefully that happens because yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. We'll see. I will say um, distribution centers, regardless of the type of content that they're going to put there, because uh, mm -hmm. the there is definitely a possibility that the type of content they're going to put there are, is not going to be very interesting uh, just because yeah, yeah. the type of content that we have now is not very interesting and, and doesn't have, doesn't have a lot to do. Uh, sure. Right. Like our bunker missions or, or whatever. Right. So, yeah, yeah. but they still have the ability to be the highlight of the game. I, I, I will pause it here. The guy, because I was watching them, uh, they were sharing their screen while I was dealing with other, I think I was looking for the birds or something like that. We were kind of yeah, yeah. sharing screens and showing each other because it's the, the patch is so big that you can't find everything and test everything. So everybody in our group was yeah. trying different things. Uh, two mm -hmm. guys got into the distribution center and it is massive on the inside. They were looking yeah. around forever. They found the raid area. The boxes mm -hmm. look different. The area looks different. Um, okay. The boxes are like coming up from underground and stuff. So they've done more work on it since we've seen it. Um, awesome. They still were one SCU boxes. Um, so there's that. Sure. Uh, but yeah, it was it was really cool. They found an, a random room with Osoian hides in them. Like a lot of Ooh. Osoian hides. So Ooh, like, I there, like that idea, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There, there was like some unlawful things going on at this distribution mm. center by some like, you know, because this was a lawful one, I believe. So, so like yeah, um, yeah. employees were doing some things that they shouldn't have been doing, things like yep. that. So there, there's, there's, there's some cool stuff going on here, I think, when it comes to, to these for sure. I went to, I think I went to this one specifically. Um, maybe not. I can't remember which one I went to, but it was on Hurston and I, I landed on the top, uh, for, for that. And that's where I got yep. kind of stuck. It was basically this landing pad was where I went. These were all oh. broken. You couldn't go into the hangars. And, yeah. um, I guess this was, this clearly looks like a refinery, by the way. Right. It's yeah, also clearly yeah. on Microtech. This is the one that we were at. So it also looks like it has deliberate level design too. Is yes. in like choke points uh like higher points to shooting that sort of stuff so yeah. yep and uh just to roll back just a tiny tiny bit that's the sign i saw so okay. like you could see these are landing pads mm -hmm. and the refinery was over here and this is the sign that tells you like where to go you could see there's like an ursa rover over here um there were some loot containers over here as well that's where i mm -hmm. found that stupid light and right here is where i blacked out uh, from overdosing. <laughs> so yeah, it, so, it is. There's a lot going on. There's so much area yep. to cover. Regardless of what they do here, they are going to be interesting just for you to explore for a good amount of time before it gets boring and you're ready to move on to the next yep. thing and the next patch for Star Citizen. Yeah, so, um, I would imagine because it was Eva Cardi, I imagine AI was out of garbage. But yes. uh, like, how populated was the area with NPCs? Low. Uh, but there were NPCs yeah. there, and obviously they didn't do much. Um, yeah. But they were there, and they were all, like, lawful working types. There were... Okay. We did see, like, um, container icons. Don't know if they were from mm -hmm. other players or from, uh, like, actually the game. Once sure. we got out of our ships, we couldn't find them. So I'm not sure what was going on there with, with that. But... Yeah. Yeah. they These are not ready for feedback, just to be clear. So what we saw is... Yeah still has a ways to go and mm -hmm. still has like more stuff to be added. Um, yeah. Wanted said he saw them inside the hangar elevators in front of the screen. Yeah. Okay. So they were right. in here. These are like hangar looking elevators, right? These are exactly yeah, yeah. what the freight elevators look like um, from what we saw. So this is probably freight elevators next to the landing pads yeah. as well. Right. So um, awesome. that's, that's kind of cool. Right. So distro yeah. centers, 
very exciting. The highlight of the of the current Evo patches, I would say, um, for now, outside of the star map, um, you know, for for, yeah, for just, I guess it's features. new locations. We've been we've been starved from new locations for quite a while. Exactly. Um, we've essentially only had like the uh, the Rex, and that's it. The Rex have been cool, but like not nothing's been to this scale for a while. Yeah, like I guess when I guess th this is the same asset, um, but these little doors at the bottom were open um, that I saw. So like uh, stu sure. stuff so they comes sort of up. get fed up through the yeah, yeah yeah it was like a little bit of like a conveyor of some kind so very cool stuff interesting yeah um star map was significantly better that was uh probably yep. the thing that i noticed um the most was mm -hmm. it was just very functional easy to use and um simple and I didn't have any like crazy quantum travel issues like we've had in the past. Yep. Who knows um, if that'll maintain, but between the first <laughs> Evo patch to, to this one that's current, the star map was, was very usable. Uh, basically it was like, you would just type in distribution center or like just start typing in distribution center and it would list yep. off all the names. You would click that name and press R and you're, Sweet. you're going there. It was so it even it was so the search function even has like, um, like categorizations and stuff as well. Like you can search, no. I imagine something like refinery or no. Only if the name is ref like refinery. So you kind of do have to know at least right. part of the name, okay. right? So you can't go like a drug lab and then it say uh, jump town. Like jump town, Paradise Cove. Whatever. No, okay. you would have to know that it's called Paradise Cove and start typing PA and then it would be like Paradise Cove as an option. Um, okay. So for example, I typed OM and it, the search is smart enough to know that it, it just took any option with the letters mm -hmm. o and m next to each next to each other so it gave yep. the first option it gave me was a com array right so no. the search function is actually pretty <laughs> powerful tough. i was just curious yeah, yeah. if if i can qt to an om with the yeah. new star map or something like that like if there was any new added functionality to quantum traveling v via the star map or not that wasn't there but it, it was you can't qt to your party members um via yeah. the search function things like that as well um okay but it's, was it always uh, system wide as well, or like would it prioritize? Like, if you were in Hearst and, and you the, searched up, like, I, I don't know. Oh, uh, I did it prioritize I, local, or was it just everything? It's everything. Not, as far okay. as I recall, it was everything. But it's a good. That is a good question that I can investigate and get back to you because I'm curious if when I typed in Comrade, did it did it give me the closest one? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. There's a good chance that it would give you the, the results closer. As somebody in chat, Tumblrino, just said it filters closer results, which is, oh. it just, yeah. that is something that was not at CitizenCon, and it was mm -hmm. something that was added later, and it is the best feature of everything that yeah. we saw at CitizenCon as well. So I'm Sweet. just very pleased with, with what we saw. Awesome. So, yeah. Cool. I just, um, I just realized I'm not sharing screens with you. And you mentioned that yeah, a long that time ago, and it never <laughs> registered until now. So take take um, over. I'll get the screen over for you, okay? <laughs> uh, so obviously, we're only like this is essentially the second Evo Cardi uh, like 323 patch. Yeah, as in like content patch. Sure. Um, stability. Are we close to a Are we close to a wave one at all? No. Or no shot. Okay. Zero zero shot. Um, not just because uh, stability wasn't good. Uh, but because we're not, we're not even remotely have any of the features in like the, but the, they've, they've been doing that a lot recently. With, yeah. But this is ex like, this is like insanely missing everything. Okay. Right. Like we are still missing a, a very large amount of the things that we need to, uh, not be missing. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> like again, distribution centers not ready for feedback um yeah. cargo missions not ready for feedback the the hangers are not in at all freight elevators are not in at yeah, all yeah not in uh yeah. like there there's just everything was missing the main like the main testing focus of this patch was stability first and yeah, yep. second fps yep those are really the only things that are ready for feedback and when you say FPS as well, is that including uh, like new UI? Is is that focus the, testing? 
the the new ui the backpack reloading the yeah, yeah. the that stuff but more importantly the all of the changes to damage and bullet drop mm -hmm. and a procedural recoil and all those things are in all of the changes yeah. are in the scopes everything is there but uh it's very hard to to provide that feedback in the pu and they didn't turn arena commander on so you can only go an yeah. offline arena commander which was kind of a bummer um but yeah. I did hear you say though that apparently you were able to get into the um Hell offline yeah. arena commander engineering mode. And while you weren't able to do it, there's like signs. Signs of life, essentially. Oh, uh, I mean more than life. I'll I'll uh okay. I'll bring up what what I can as far as uh footage for this. But yep. it is exciting. Um yep. like the the engineering panel was in i was opening doors um so okay. again you, again arena commander is only in offline mode there yeah, yeah. i also want to make a little announcement while we're towards the beginning of the show towards the end of today's show i actually do not have a timeline today which is finally right um no mm -hmm. hockey game no family stuff going on nothing but we're, we're at 10 30 a.m right now right around mm -hmm. noon Something in Arena Commander is dropping, but we don't know what. Oh, just a, a secret little... Yeah, hey, DJ happening. popped in and was like, something's happening. In, in, uh... So towards the end of today's show, we're going to find out what it is. Um, but I don't know what it is. Well, come on, DJ. Make sure my Evocati application gets through quick. Come on, what's going on? Noon Eastern in about an hour and a half. So okay. re regardless, the uh, this, was this was in. Yeah. This was right. in. I opened doors and stuff. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. I did not mess around with it very much because it, sure. it it was only offline. Um, it seems like there's going to be a couple of game modes. Um, you can only select the Gladius and the A2. So I don't know if okay. there's like a teams, like you can only select the Gladius on one team and the A2 on another. No idea how the game mode works. There is a free flight version in an offline. That's the only one that oh. I was able to get into. So I just ran around the ship. There's a bunch mm -hmm. of um, like relays uh that you can go to and and stuff like that so it's awesome it's it's just cool. awesome to see what you saw at citizen con in the game and interact with it what does yeah. it mean for now i don't know but similar to 322 i feel like i'm going to be playing a lot of 323 yeah. in arena commander <laughs> not yeah. in the pu as cool as the stuff in the pu is this might be where i'm spending a lot of my time yeah a lot yeah. of it, uh, just because I'm excited for this this particular gameplay. I think it'll be cool. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, all right, I've got more questions for you. Please. I I I got one of my viewers to do homework for me. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you do the physical shopping UI, all that stuff? Yeah, it's um. How's it feel? I don't get it nah. personally. Um. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll again, I'll bring up some video for it from from ISC, but mm -hmm. the uh, I'll I'll kind of I think this is perfectly fine. What I can we can just leave a still here actually, and it'll be good. Like this yeah, I would imagine the UI at the very least looks better, but does it feel any more intuitive or anything like that? One thing about it feels intuitive, and it's what they're showing on the screen now. And I'll I'll do my best mm -hmm. to like because it's very quick, and it the UI doesn't show it very well. But it's yep. going to fill up going in this direction a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's hold B to buy. So that is yep. very intuitive. You just, I want these pants. I hold B. Love it. Good. Yep. Um, what I can't do is what if I want to buy 10 of these pants? Or obviously not the pants, but let's go with ammo or med pens. Yep. I don't have that functionality. So now I have to hold B 10 times. So we're like. Or go through the um, terminal. Ex or use the yeah. terminal exactly and it's um i feel like if you're gonna put the time and effort into this and again it might be a for now thing but it feels mm. like eh, it's the same functionality with a little bit of additional and mm -hmm. a little bit cooler looking ui i don't think it was like a big addition and the other thing is very buggy um it ends up behind things sure. and um yeah. yeah it just looks kind of goofy for now um but i do love the hold to be for for buying stuff i think that was neat you can also rebind this and i'm curious if uh it would say a different thing there or not when you rebind it yep. 
Um, yeah, you get a little sense for the mini map there as well when you're buying the shop up top, when you're buying things right. from the shop. So the landing zones are in, uh, in, yep. in some areas, but like bunkers, no distribution centers, no uh, lots of places, no. So most of the time it's going to be empty for now. A lot of ships have them, um, but yep, that's really it. Um, one of the biggest things that I was really excited for, um, and you talked a little bit about in your videos this week, but only only sort of touched on with the animals. Um, well, think... first off, I'm just happy they're in there. Yeah, I didn't want to say. Do too they much. look weird? Do they actually look weird? Because I mean, they looked they look a little at, weird on the on the. Yeah, but no, they looked like low res on the the yeah. uh, Twitter post that they they made, or at least it, it didn't seem like it had the same fidelity as a lot of assets do in Starset. Um, mm, let me. So that's sort of what I'm saying. Like, how did it? How did it look in the actual game? <laughs> uh, it might have been low res because Twitter. And Instagram. Oh, for sure. No, yeah, it might have been like that. It's just, it's the only thing, obviously, that, like, was publicly put out there. Of course, of so, course. So, like, yeah. this is this is the video that you're referencing. Yeah, um, yeah. The birds, these are the exact animations that they have in-game. Sweet. Uh, so, like, they're not even showing you, like, a fake Star Citizen video, really. really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you've ever played Valheim, that... Like, you know, the mm -hmm. birds uh, fly and then they land and then they fly and that's yeah, really yeah. all they do. Uh, that's what these did, at least for me. They're okay. non-aggressive or anything like that. They looked yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, they didn't. They looked like a star citizen asset. They didn't look worse. Okay, sweet. Awesome. Yeah. And then cool. the dogs have two eyes and are, they are aggressive. You mean four? Or yeah, four eyes, two eyes on each side. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. And um, yeah. They're cool. Like this, this I don't think looks too low poly, right? Not not necessarily low poly, but like, yeah, I guess it's it's the fact that they don't have like fur is like weird. But that's that is also a very alien thing. So it could have a hundred percent be like a mm. genuine stylistic choice, um, because they have mentioned before. I don't know hundred percent remember where, but they have apparently mentioned that uh, all of the like human hair tech that's coming with well that has already come and then is coming with the character customizer they're we'll going to on. also be using for stuff on aliens and all that sort of stuff so um so yeah it might just be that they're all smooth and that's freaking me out <laughs> they are they are smooth uh so yeah, yeah maybe you won't like it that much but these so the birds were almost impossible to find the reason i didn't sleep yeah. couldn't find them um also whoever you are in in evo who, when I asked where the birds were, yelled at me for saying, uh, yelled at me and said it wasn't part of the testing focus. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Playing the game in stability was part of the testing focus. So if there was something I was interested in, I was testing, idiot. So Mike, that guy pissed worst me off Evo so Cardi much. member ever. That guy made me so mad. So anyway, <laughs> I was asking where the birds were. Yeah, yeah. And almost nobody knew where they were because these mm -hmm. things were spawning everywhere and in mass yeah um okay like there isn't one location where they are there they were there was m like multiple more planet and so, multiple moons and stuff or? no just microtech is the only place the animals were as far as i can tell okay um okay. but there were less places on microtech that don't have these than did yep. in my experience anywhere where there's I guess it's not an entirely true. Anywhere where there's sure. not snow, these were mm -hmm. at. Okay. Um, and there was okay. one little location that the birds were at. That's it. Um, and sure. And I think I'm not giving too much away. I don't actually want to spoil it for you guys. I want you to experience these yeah, yeah. on your own and uh, hear the noises and things like that uh, because you don't see them sometimes. Mm -hmm. You hear them first. And yeah. I imagine if we ever end up in a situation with a good server, that's going to be a crazy, scary, fun mm -hmm. experience for you guys, is you hear them first. Uh, Zach, yeah. who does the UI, uh, the AI for these, is in chat. Somebody asked, do the dogs attack, attack the birds? He said yes. I doubt we cool. will. I, <laughs> I doubt we will experience that on live or there's, in the PTU. Yeah, I was gonna until... say there's gonna be one day of PTU where all the servers are working perfectly yeah. that we're gonna get to experience that, and then and then we'll see. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I, I did want to know. I was killed by these dogs. Yes, I did hear you say that, but apparently yeah. you had to wait a really long yeah, time I, for them to like kill us. We let them kill yeah. us, but they killed <laughs> us. 
At least that's what Mike says every time he loses an arena commander. Um, true, true. The, <laughs> the birds, uh, the AI behaviors that the birds have, did it seem like that was the Boyd system? Or did these feel like they had a proper... Because they've talked a little bit about Boyd's and they've talked a little bit about like regular AI behaviors. Um, and it sounded like Boyd's is very just like two-dimensional, extremely small behaviors of just like land, flyway, done. Uh, do, we, do we know if these are on the Boyd system? Well, uh, Zach can probably answer that for us because he's here. Uh, he they said are they, they are Boyd's. There you okay. go. But I, I cool. will say that the when I did find the birds, my server was crumbling. They were teleporting. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, sure. uh, again, Evo Cotti, it, it is how it yeah, is. Yeah. Um, but it, it, the birds seemed incredibly limited where the dogs or the the birds are the Maroc and the dogs are the Copian and which is funny. Cause it sounds like, Cop yep. it sounds like Copian yep. <laughs> and um, the dogs seem to be way more advanced and farther along. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As far which as is I sort of tell. what I had sort of what I expected them to be um, yeah. for anyone who doesn't know what Boyd's are. They've talked about it a bunch of times over the course of like the last two years. It's literally just like super generic AI behavior for just like, making the game feel fuller so it's specifically like birds and fish that yeah sort of that sort of thing yeah they were just um, kind of doing yeah. their thing and then i punched them in the face and killed one <laughs> one punch one punch took a bird out by the way um you did get my uh hopium a little yeah. bit full from one of your videos as well when you said that apparently people were saying that like while they don't work there are missions tied to the creatures three mission types uh yep. two fetch quests one to mm -hmm. get the horns that you saw on the dog it's the top horn and yep. another to get the pearls from the birds and yep. the the horn is the coolest because it has a description yep and the description is uh something like this i'm absolutely paraphrasing the horns are used in uh like to re like it's a it's a a, a thing that is used to recreate or reproduce bone mass or something like that. Yeah. So we think that it might be some sort of medical crafting or crafting for some sort of a med pen of some kind, Yeah. Yep. something like that, uh, that it could be in the future if they're really building this stuff out to be crafting. But at the same yep. time, there are other things in the game that have descriptions that relate to crafting without there being crafting in the game. So who knows yep. if it's just narrative team writing shit or if it's uh actually meaningful and then yep. um the pearls are like these just like massive like gook and what might be like little <laughs> bugs and stuff um yeah yep. they yeah like revenant pods also say something like a reference to crafting yeah, yep. and they've never been right um yeah, yep. there's no nothing there it just says placeholder um yep. so yeah which un unsurprising again of like course, we're, Evo Cotti. Evo Cotti and that sort of stuff, yep. Yep. Um, all right, well, before we get to callers, because, ladies and gentlemen, this is also a call show, uh, mm -hmm. is there any other, like, major thing from Evo Cotti this week that we yeah. didn't mention yes. that you want to touch on? Uh, DLSS yeah. was pretty good. Um, I got, yep. I was, like, I turned everything up to max. I was mm -hmm. outside of Port Tressler, which is above Microtech, pointing down yeah. at Microtech on the sunny side. And um, the I turned everything to max and turned on DLSS and said maximum performance, please. And mm -hmm. I gained I went from 30 FPS to 45 in that situation. Oh. And a lot of the time I had around 56 to 59. I was on DX11 as well. You could turn on Vulcan in this build. You had to like do it oh, in the, okay. in the Kung, right. Kong fids or whatever, sure. I think. Um, so I didn't do it. I just don't like to mess with those things. And um, yep. I don't know what the experience was for people, but sure. Yeah. It, well, if anyone it, wants to call I in gained, and tell us. Yeah. I gained a lot of performance and the game looked absolutely incredible with reference clouds. Like I am not one of those people that like stares at this game and gets blown away anymore. I just want yeah, more yeah. gameplay. And I did sit back and was like, well, damn. <laughs> well, damn. I feel like I'm watching All right, a, fine. a look. sitcom demo. Yeah. I felt like yeah, I yeah. was watching a sitcom demo for a little while. It, it was beautiful. Yep. Um, Hell yeah. 
so yeah, there was that. And then the only other thing, uh, like an interesting star map thing was when you're, I don't know what level of zoom into the map or away from the map this would be, but okay. we had like five or six party members. And you know how the current map, the party member icon blocks where they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the party icons are all like littered on the outside, like sides of the map. And they're just in like random spots, it seems. And you just wave sure. your mouse over it and there's the name. Oh, Kronzi. Click. And then I QT to Kronzi. Boom. Great. Cool. Gone. That's fantastic. I don't gotta go look for you. Nothing. Yeah, yep. Uh, so it was it was pretty pretty useful from that that standpoint. Um, yep. Like again, Star Map was absolutely the highlight of this uh, one for me uh, from mm -hmm. from that quality of life standpoint that everyone's looking to get from that. So I really want to hammer that home. Um, yep. Water Sim was oh, in. Yeah, I was I was gonna say you talked about the Water Sim in your first video, but not the one from uh, like yesterday. I Improvements forgot. or it's in. It looks horrible for me like okay. the so I, I put my ship near the water and the way it reacted was just unrealistic weird just uncanny valley garbage but okay. just like the star map from the first build the servers were struggling and it, okay. to, to do this simulation it it just i feel like it would do it it wouldn't do it justice to just be like it was it's trash this you know the sky's falling yeah, yeah yeah you know there's no there's no way that's the the case but if you go back to the citizen con demo there's a part of the the scene where they show the water at Clio and that's how all the water looks like and it just yeah. doesn't quite live up to the fidelity of the rest of the game yet i would say sure but from a distance with the reflections it is god tier. Okay. Sweet. But when do we, when you get close, they got some work to do, I I, I feel like. But we'll sure. see. I mean, it, it's another one of those things, though. I feel like any water improvements are still better than what we have right now. Yep. Of just a, a line that slightly rises and low, lowers mm -hmm. with, like, static sprites on the edges and stuff. Yeah. So. Uh, my chat is saying water sim is client side. Well... It couldn't. Interesting. It couldn't handle it on a uh, fifty-eight hundred X three D and a thirty ninety. Yeah. So. So uh, we'll see what happens. I guess, there you go. Because yeah, once again, still an Evercardi could be a bunch of changes. Yep. Um. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. So. We'll, but it we'll, still worked, right? Like, like the physics engine did do its thing. It did it. You just said it looked weird. It did it, but it was almost like. I guess the best example I can give is, you know, when, when he, he at the demo had the circles in the water and there was like bigger ones and yeah, smaller yeah, yeah. ones, and like the, the yep. size of the circle chosen didn't make sense. That's the okay. best. That's the best example because you already have that visual in your head. Mm -hmm. it sh the size of the circle should have been this big, but it was this big. Okay. And it just was like, what? Somebody called my 3090 an outdated GPU. Okay. True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Um, um, all right, fair enough. That, if there's nothing else major, it. like, like obviously you said, you said there's a lot of changes to FPS weapons. I feel like we're not going to get a good grasp on that until we have big firefights in like yeah. Arena Commander and stuff. Um, yeah. I'll say Master Modes is on all the ships, and like yep. that's a thing, and it's honestly something that you like sort of notice sometimes, but also don't notice. Mm. I had a lot of issues with it in the first build. Taking off yep. was very weird and broken. I didn't have those issues issues in the second build. So again, stability wise, things improved a bit. And uh there were, you know, I think it, it just became easier to use. And I will say like I didn't notice master modes being that painful while I was playing. Like the 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 SCM versus the nav speed, it didn't it wasn't like I, I thought I was expecting it to be like a very noticeable difference. And I was just playing yeah. stars. I felt like I was still just playing star citizen and yeah. like, yeah, I pressed B a few times to go faster, but sure. that was it outside that. Like all the icons are on the screen. Like all the quantum markers looks terrible um, when you're trying yeah. to just move a little faster, but I don't know. That was it for me, but that's going to be a, a preference thing or if, yeah, you know, that's just like a personal 
feeling about it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I think I took up enough of the of the show. The only other thing I, I mean, would... like I said, I had I had nothing to offer today, so this well, is overdrive. This is my education. Uh, I haven't been able to do overdrive this week. Oh, I'm doing okay. it tomorrow. Yeah, gotcha. You played it in PTU though. I yeah, I, I did play it in PTU. Yeah. This was my most disappointing one. Out of all, really all the phases, worse than two. Worse than two. Wow. Well, Here's why. Everything uh, leading up to this one, you needed a team mm -hmm. to to kind. You didn't need a team, but it was better. With you you the were team. incentivized. Yeah. Yeah. So even number two, where it was like kill a not hard ship to kill and then get out of your ship and grab this thing like mm -hmm. we all went on a redeemer we killed the th killed the ships and then somebody got out and grabbed the the uh whatever you call it the the crypto key and yeah, yeah. so like even then we were like doing group things this this one is a global event that it all, either spawns at Hurston or Yella yep or Hurston or Crusader, let's say. And yeah, yeah. so you're incentivized to just stay where you are and wait for the coin flip to end up in yours. Because once it ends, like you can take it. It's uh, it's like wake of disaster. Everybody sees it. There's no buy-in for yeah. it. And you accept it. All you have to do is five of these. They are identical. And mm -hmm. you just do the mission. You have to kill 24 ships. That's it. Yeah. And it's not 24 that you have to kill. It's 24 of the people who accepted the mission. That's it. Yeah. Uh, or or even the, have not accepted the mission. Just 24 yeah. ships have to die. So it happens quite quickly. So if you are at Crusader after completing level one, and then you accept level, or you accept the second one, and it's at Hurston, don't take it. Sure. Just... Let it it'll just, it's gonna finish quick enough yeah it'll, it'll finish it'll abandon for you. you you will it'll not be completed you won't lose any rep or anything like that and then hopefully yeah, yeah. the coin flip ends up back at at yella basically yeah. i had four in a row at yella and then the yeah. last one took a couple tries and then ended up back at yella and i just sat there and waited and you don't have to do anything everybody can kill the ships and you just sit there it just felt more hands-off in comparison yeah to all the other missions that like from a mission standpoint, this one was the worst for me. It's interesting the when, when people were complaining about the original mission and you know, it, it being too hard to grab and so no one being able to participate in the mission. Uh, like I, I knew that this one was coming, that it was like this uh, server wide version of a mission. Mm -hmm. And I was hoping that I'll kind of alleviate it. Obviously it sounds like it's gone too far in the other direction where it, it it obviously either needs to be more challenging or that one needs not to be server-wide, right? Exactly, because um, the mission yeah. is completing before you get there, because what was happening to people yeah. is they were in quantum and people were waiting at the event in the, in the event area, and then the event mm -hmm. would pop and they would just do it. And by the, like you got there and it was finishing. And if you didn't yeah. get there in time, you didn't get credit for the mission. So now you're quantuming back and forth, and like it was just yeah, yeah. It, it just made sense to sit there and and wait. Um, so yeah. which was not that's fair enough. I think there's a reason. A there's a reasonable gripes. There's a reasonable gripes. Uh, it's it's presenting an issue that we haven't really had in Star Citizen before, where a large group mission is too fast. Because a lot of the time you get those big missions where it's just like you've got to kill Idrises, where even if you have like 50 people, it still takes quite a while, mm. you know, to do that sort of stuff. Yeah. So um, we were talking just before ATC about that. I do wonder if we, when we come back to this, because it's very inevitable that we're going to see these happen again at some point in the next like year or two. For sure. If they change that mission around, either make it harder, make it so that it is, you know, locked to a certain group. Or even the case of just like if you spawned more of those, the spread of people would go out a little bit wider, and the missions would take a little bit longer. Oh, I see I from from Aimless in the Twitch chat. Uh, well, oh, oh, actually, it was somebody else. But Aimless yeah, yeah. said they had one mission where there was only one other person there. It was challenging. 
yeah. highly suggest. When we did it on the PTU, it was challenging. Yeah, like, exactly. like we had three people doing it and it wasn't like, it, it was very, very fun, actual challenging thing. And we were even in a retaliator. It's just, exactly. there was so many things to fight. Exactly, right? There, there are, yeah. there's a ship, there's formations with uh, like light fighters and cutlasses with the hammerheads. It like, they're yeah. all flying together too, which is kind of cool. But the, mm -hmm. um, the, the only suggestion I would make is find a server that is empty. Yeah. So go on like an Australian server in the middle of the night for them. Go on a U.S. server in the middle of the night for them, that kind of thing. And, and then maybe yeah. you'll find the challenge and it might be more fun. Um, yeah. So just go on your like your pri prime time, go on a different server to find their off time. And then you might have an, a yeah. more enjoyable experience. Um, but so hacky in Twitch chat says Siege had the same issue as this. This was this. This is the same like kind of in a very very sort of sort of yeah in a much less bad way i think this was the same problem as see just people were able to just do it before you can experience it and you're just like okay i guess this yeah like i'm over in microtech siege just started by the time i get there you guys are already on the second platform and then yeah. by the time it takes me to get the platform you guys have finished it that sort of thing yeah and you're just yeah, like that's, that's why issue. did i do this you know that's, yeah. that's kind of how it felt my only other grip is the one that i've had throughout the entire thing and that is that uh this was supposed to be like a lore filled thing at least i thought it was going to be the narrative sections mm. of the monthly report keep talking a lot of game and i'm not yep. seeing a lot of action from them uh in, in this in particular and i was really hoping to to get a deeper story than this and and the story has been incredibly subpar and almost yep. non-existent uh th that would be my yep my sadness about this one. I was, I was really excited. It was like, what was on the crypto keys at the bunkers that we were finding? And they were like, Oh, a location for some ships for you to kill to find a location yeah. for more ships for you to kill. And it was just like, ah, where's the yeah. depth to this? Um, Cause if you're, yeah. if we're going to have crappy similar missions that we've always had, which is essentially what all this is. Um, yeah add some depth to it in a different way. We know there's no economy. We know there's no crafting. We know there's none of that stuff. The only depth they can add is, is a cool story. And yep. we didn't get that with this so far, at least still two more yeah. phases. You know, the story I don't. Um, so I'm, you know, well, I'll, I'll just it, say, cause it's not, obviously it's leads not really, you threat. It's not a, yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say. It's, yeah. it's not a spoiler. This is the pre Xeno threat event. Yeah. And like the last mission ends with you finding out that that's going to happen. Yeah. Right. It's like, hey, Xeno threats about to like, like they're about to attack um, uh, INS Jericho, which is so, fair of yeah. why it's not. Maybe that's a reason why it's not that exciting. But even just yeah, like, but it could it could it could still act. have more. Yeah, some yeah. voice acting, some like the the thing that hurts it for me is I complete the missions and nothing happens. So yeah. usually when you complete a mission, if you don't get a reward in terms of money or, I mean, I guess in this you get money, but again, money is more meaningless in it's our game right now, yeah. <laughs> um, or like an item or whatever, mm -hmm. you would at least get a, a new, a new step of the story. And when you complete yep. any of these phases, nothing happens and you wait a mm -hmm. week. And that's when you find out what, you know, it's just kind of like, eh, it, it, it le it's very anticlimactic each phase. That's yeah. my biggest uh, bit of feedback. And yep. I'd love to see some, yeah, some, some excitement at the end of each phase, even if it's um, not each individual mission that you do, you get that excitement. But when you complete the last one, maybe you get that bit mm -hmm. of excitement. That would be, that would yep. be nice. Give me, give me a little reward at the end. It doesn't have to be a physical one or anything like that, but Oh, I forgot. Just We're getting our to. reward. Go buy the, uh, go buy the ship <laughs> on the store. Then you get your reward. I forgot how this works. I forgot what game we were playing. Cannot wait to use that upgrade to upgrade to something else. Yeah, can't we use to <laughs> wait to use that upgrade on the ship that I'm not going to pay real money for? So, yeah, sad. Anyway, sad, sad. we've been talking for an hour. Let's get some callers in here to talk about everything that happened this week. Um, Let's do it. Yeah. I, Let's get Space I, Monkey business. I might skip Tumblerino up uh in front of mm -hmm. some of you guys just because i think he has remember we asked somebody to come in and give us some insight on something i forgot what it was yeah the uh the pirates esports event that happened the fps event T I'll, I'll i'll uh we'll go to our first caller first and then tumblr let me know in chat if that's what you want to talk about and uh i'll my camera turn off what, what just happened no i i uh, oh, no, i i did not put 
Yeah, I, I minimize Discord. Okay. That's what I'm very concerned about my camera at the moment. I accidentally left it up from from answer the call last week. I left it turned on until yesterday by accident. Oh, I always leave mine on, but mm -hmm. I've also been having like overheating problems and things like that as well. So I'm like, Ugh. okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm freaking awful. out about mine <laughs> also yeah. lately. All right, so we're gonna just for all the other callers in the queue, we're gonna have Tumble skip because uh, I I want to hear about that. Or mm -hmm. we don't have to actually, but I I initially was going to, um, but we will get to tumble or no matter what because I do want to hear more about that. I think it'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so let's go to our first caller, who is Space Monkey Business. How you doing, Space Monkey? Hey, how are you doing, guys? What's up? Fantastic. How about yourself? Fantastic. You are good. I was too busy to hop on uh, past shows, but today I thought, ah, oh, it's Easter. Uh, got some time. Hop on and ask you some questions and also talk a bit. Well, hey. ask away. Uh, I think we I think we should stick to the title. It'll live it is it living up to the hype. And I think I would add to for whom? I mean, for somebody who actually plays the game on a maybe daily or more regular basis and uh, hops in with friends and does some stuff here and there. I think it's a great patch because uh, it has a lot of quality of life. But uh, for me, besides maybe Master Modes, there is not much in it that makes me play the game differently, since I'm waiting more for um, the progression and the purpose stuff, like Mike. <laughs> sure. I do, so, I do wonder if, because um, it wasn't in the Evocati patch this week, I do wonder if reputation hostility could lead towards that in some aspect. Um, I don't but we'll think probably so. have to wait. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's it. It seems like what will lead into it at some point, but maybe not. But cer almost certainly not in three twenty three. It just okay. feels more of the the first piece of that that puzzle with mm. with the way they've described it. But we'll we'll see because it's so important. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, question to Mike: uh, No space cows. <laughs> no. Ah. Uh. Sad. Do we think we'll get them, or I don't Why know? Not I mean, if yeah. they if they were there, I couldn't find them, and nobody else could either. Yeah, yeah. Also, also saw no leaked pictures of that stuff, so I think they were not in in that build. Yeah. Um. Boop, 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 boop. Um. Zach Besides... trying to troll everyone again. Sorry, yeah. Zach has been on a trolling brigade all over Twitter and everywhere for the last I week know. and a half. People hate this yeah, enough for Sniper Glint. Don't, don't <laughs> troll them with space cows, man. Wait till oh you get cow glint. Yeah. Cow glint, oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, at the, uh, towards uh, your comment uh, at the end, or at the end of your talk, um, the story stuff. I mean, for me, mm -hmm. the world at the moment, I mean, it would be really hard to compare it to like World of Warcraft or something where you have like elaborate world and characters and huge story arcs or something like that. But for me, there's no no real character to the universe at the moment. I mean, you have no factions, you have no 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 um yeah characters yeah. you can identify with and I hope they will bring that in, but at the moment it's like pretty shallow. Well, we used to have that story. in, like, up until, like, 2019, I think was the last time they put a mission giver in. All yeah. of those characters tended to have, like, a little bit of stuff to them, right? And they had, mm -hmm. like, a little bit of faction lore and stuff to them. Uh, obviously, the priorities changed of, like, well, we want the better missions to be in before we actually put in, uh, mm -hmm. you know, people to interact with those and then start that sort of story stuff. And I think that is the better priority. Um, but I would also imagine... Once we, and, and I do think it will take until Squadron releases, mm -hmm. once that happens, we will probably get a little bit more of that. At least I hope we will. Like you said, I don't think it'll be on the level of like World of Warcraft, because the point of Squadron is to play a story game. Um, but I do think it'll be something a little bit better that'll grasp us a bit more into, into the game. Mm. It needs to be. It, it's, yeah. it's the part of Star Citizen that I think has, for a game that is so incomplete and so broken, and um you know just isn't there yet it's one of the pieces that is is the most missing in a in a yeah. game that has almost yeah. everything missing right yeah 
Yeah, definitely. I mean, when you take like Hurston as an example, you have a possibility to to tell some cool stories. You have this yeah. family with some strange uh, <laughs> strange behavior, I would say, um, enslaving, not enslaving, but I don't even think you need to go that far. Just because I don't pay my employees doesn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, like I don't even think you need to go that far. Like here, here's just like a simple thing that I feel like we could have had if the AI ever worked is like, mm -hmm. you're, you're just walking around a place like Hurston and the conversations yeah. that the AI are having with each other tell the story of the city you're in, right? This is in yeah, every yeah. other video game that's existed for years. It was in Skyrim for God's sakes, right? Like that, that kind of thing has been, it, this isn't a new thing. Uh, this isn't mm -hmm. a new idea. This wouldn't be like a mind blowing thing to be in Star Citizen. It's just sure. th those are the pieces that are missing. At, at Microtech, the conversation should be different. At Orison, mm -hmm. different, you know, and, and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, because that can easily tell you so much more about the world you're walking around in than yeah. like you don't need to do these like elaborate mission chains with all this super story in them. Little yeah. stuff no. like that is, is goes so far. Uh, and, and also don't make it feel it. a lot make it feel a lot more lived in versus yeah. right now where essentially all NPCs in locations are, even when their AI is working, are essentially just like blind zombies. The only people who talk to you are the people at the stores who, to yeah. be fair, do tell you to get lost. And I actually kind of like that <laughs> someone's finally talking to me, right? But uh, yeah. yeah, but I, just what I meant is like, uh, you have a possibility because you, so you see glimpses of the the, the possibility yeah. to tell those stories yep. but mm -hmm. it, it needs to be um, built yeah and, 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 and even if we need that prioritized today right now this minute. no 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 but the the thing for yeah. me is is that every month the report i keep reading about how important this is to them and how much of an effort they're making towards it it just doesn't show in the game yeah where is all I, this? I tell you what it is that's a that is a 1.0 roadmap must <laughs> yeah yeah i think kinda. yeah yeah okay. I mean, if you want to make it a bit more alive, you could actually also start maybe just introduce some NPCs who fly around, like doing some cargo stuff. That would be. Oh cool. my God. You know, we had that in like 3.5. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Yep. Not, to, not to mention, we've NPCs also had the, off the, landing. the better, yeah, we've had the better version of that tech with the reinforcements for like a while now. Yep. It's been like a few years, right? So. But. The better version is the sorry, sorry. One. The 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 more current version, I guess. Yeah, because the, more, way of saying. the the cutlass landing on top of the dead cutlass over and over again is hard to call the better <laughs> version. <laughs> so the dead, they're just dead replicating what players do. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, two things or one thing to to three point three. Um, I think I if I if it comes to content, I think I'm looking into how the no a new blockade runner stuff will be and a new Xeno threat. Mm -hmm. That are interesting things for me. We did not mention so far. Is and yep. is the do we know if the plan is to play through overdrive in three twenty two and then. The later stages are in 3.23. This is something somebody Zeno, asked me earlier. The implication, the implication was that 3.23 would have Xeno threat. And mm -hmm. so this is this is the mm -hmm. pre-patch event, is is the overdrive part. And then whether it's as a launch or like a couple of weeks after launch, Xeno threat will be then. I, I don't a hundred percent remember where I heard it. It I may be making it up, but I feel like I remember hearing it from Jared. Uh, and possibly in a post as well. Okay. That that that's the implication. Okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Besides that, I think I'm still also waiting for the roadmap. I think it doesn't mean that they will get back to their uh, original mode of stretching the roadmap out and uh, telling everybody they will reach that and that point in six months. I I think they will still stick with the one patch ahead, but uh, mm. they will, I guess. Or I hope they will use the progress tracker to point point out the the long term plan. And this changes all the time, so doesn't really isn't really accountable. Is this sorry? Is that in reference to the one point roadmap that they're talking about? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Right. I think they're working on that, um, and they yeah. maybe paint like a broad picture. But I mm -hmm. don't think I think that was a thing Mike said. Hopefully, they what don't go back help? to that. What is what does I don't this know. do? What does it do? What's the point? 
I mean, don't, don't ask me. <laughs> it tells us it tells us what their goals are for a release, right? Yeah, that are all going to change. No, that's the thing. The last time we had that was like pre twenty twenty. It, it's been a long since the, it's been a long while since there's been a remotely uh, concrete, but not necessarily accurate, concrete like uh, idea of what CIG want the release to be. Um, and that's obviously been a very deliberate, like, you know, we're going to stop telling you because we're probably going to come up with more features next month. Um, and and that it is something we need to know. The problem is it, it won't be accurate. And I don't think that's a problem, but it will be a problem uh, sort of publicity wise because people will treat yeah. it as gospel. Yeah. Let's see how they communicate it this time. And hopefully yeah. they learn from their mistakes. It's just, it's just don't communicate it. Just make the game and then release it yeah. when you're ready. <laughs> yeah, to. It's like pretty simple. Yeah. Maybe, I, I, maybe they need, they, 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 they need the, I don't know, the feeling that they work towards a goal and it's maybe, I don't like know, he, communicate it out. I don't know. Like, here's why well, I like pose, need, yeah, go ahead. Here, here's just why I pose the question that that's below us on, on, on the screen. It, mm -hmm. it, it is, we are in an Evo patch in April now, essentially, yep. that is missing wild amounts of the content that are in the cards. And of the content that's in there, none of it is even remotely what people would expect it or want it to be like outside of a few features. So they did the same thing that they're doing with this 1.0 and hyping everything up. Like this is the biggest patch we've ever had, brother. It looks like the like just like any other patch right now to me. If 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 it went to PTU today, it would look like three twenty. That's what it would look like. It it doesn't yep. ha like there are big major things in there. Okay, there were big major things in three twenty that were cool to check out, right? Um, so are you know are they taking this thing and overhyping it and then when you see the pace in which these things are coming into evo and you're seeing all these other issues that are going on um are they going to be able to live up to the hype that they're creating for themselves and are they digging themselves in this hole again and to me i'm not going to answer yes or no yet uh yeah. entirely because it's hard to say um because it, it's kind of why the question that i posed here is pretty stupid i just really couldn't come up with a title i was struggling uh so much mike to... was very asleep this morning <laughs> yeah i was struggling with it it's not a very good discussion topic but the uh they are they are over promising potentially yeah. that that they're going to under deliver on so it's it just feels like it's they're doing the same thing with 1.0 they're so happy with all the things that happened at citizen con but nothing mm -hmm. happened yet yeah on the just the stop that you said there, Mike, um, you may have blocked it completely out of your mind. I imagine a lot of Probably. Star Citizens did. How long, uh, if you can recall, was uh, 320, sorry, 318 is probably the better example. How long was 318 in Evocati for? Oh, God, I don't know. Um, maybe a month. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, if, if, if we're uh, sort of at this stage of like, you know, this these Evo Cardi patches don't feel too. Oh, um, no, great. maybe like of a course, few weeks. You know what I mean? A few weeks, sure. two and a half, maybe. Well, it's, three it's weeks. been it's been four days, five days, a week. We've had two patches, and even within them, uh, like at least from from the videos that you posted, even within them, there was a massive improvement in the second one for some of the features, right? Um, yeah. So, uh, once again, not that I want it to go to PTU today. I was kind of hoping it was good enough to, but it sounds like it's not. Uh, but, uh, the, I don't know where I was going. I hope everyone who was watching understood what I was trying to say there and put calm that in down. context with what Mike said before. You're just saying, calm down. It's thought, it, no, no, I don't know. Calm down. It's going to sit in PTU. It'll get there, but it's not there yeah. yet. Yeah. I feel like that's what you're yeah. trying to say. And that's yeah, a totally probably. fair. That's a totally fair oh, no, I got it. I got it. The specific reason I said 318 is because the only big underlying tech thing that we have that could uh, potentially push this back really far is uh, server crash recovery, uh, which we didn't talk about either. Um, you mean your application layer? Yes, sorry. Um, I have some info on that. Yeah. So s sorry to keep interrupting you, Space Monkey Business. No, no. Uh, 
Mike, also your show. You just really quick. <laughs> No, it's it's your show, chat. And if you want to call in, you can go to discord.gg slash Um Yeah, Mike, if you can just like really quickly. I mean, just things. It, so the first patch, it recovered, and then it, it yep. was it recovered so well that it would recover the crash that was causing the crash. So exactly. it crashed in a loop over and over again to the point where it I think recovered they talked the about, bug itself. Exactly. So they <laughs> talked about turning it off. Yeah. They didn't turn it off for the second one. And it did that again, it seemed like. But eventually it recovered. And the yeah. like I talked to Morph late last night. He sent a message and was like, I don't know what you're talking about it being stable because I can't even get out of the city. Yeah. And um, I don't know if it was recovering because Ahmed and team were watching over it while we were playing. Because yeah. I only played Friday night. And I played so much that I didn't want to look at Star Citizen on Saturday. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm not sure. Like, we were on Shard 10. Shard 10 was very bad. It crashed constantly. Sometimes okay. I would get an hour. And sometimes I would get two minutes. Um, okay. So it's it's still very unstable. But replication there works. And the biggest issue with it, and this is where I have some new info, is mm -hmm. the, any mission you accept just fails every time the server crashes. Yeah, yeah. Which is what we the experience we have today. So it's not the improvement for replication layers. You just don't have to do the corpse run or whatever uh, yeah, every yeah. time from a city or from a station. That's all it's solving right now. And mm -hmm. I asked kind of Elliot because he was in Twitch chat today. Like, yo, what's the deal? Because um, I I assumed Elliot handled all that stuff but he doesn't oh. there's like another team that does the code behind the missions and they're working diligently at that while because you're, you're seeing things like overdrive you're seeing things like these new missions pop up in evo for uh gathering horns like what are you doing mission yeah, team yeah. should you not be fixing this major issue with them they are uh it's just a matter of there's probably a lot of missions and so on and so forth. They didn't really give me the answer as why it's taking so long, but yep. that there is a separation from uh, familiar faces here in, in, in on Twitch and on YouTube and on Reddit is like Elliot and Lars and Max and Phil. Like there's these guys that hang out a lot and talk a lot about their work um, in, in the community. Those guys are all designers for the most part or producers yep. and the coders don't talk to us. So, we yeah. don't know anything about what they're doing. So the people who communicate to us and are on the front lines don't seem um, phased by this because they're just doing, they're just adding more missions and making more stuff happen. Uh, yeah. So like while they're waiting for the code, what do they call them? Code monkeys or whatever to do their thing. Yeah, yeah. They, they're doing their thing. They're adding things like overdrive in and these missions together horns. So we have something interesting to do. Um, so yeah. just to like, clear that up for people in case you're like, yo, what the hell? Uh, Cause it doesn't look like missions are going to recover in 323. Yeah. And that's going to be a big yeah. bummer. It'll be annoying, but you, but with the context of everything else in regards to that is still kind of better. So it's like, yeah. But maybe, um, they may, maybe they get the, the patch pretty stable. So that won't be a big issue. Not Let's when see. it affects your reputation. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. If we don't crash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the reason I specifically wanted to bring that aspect up, though, is historically, at least for the last few years, the main thing that continues to be broken and, be, and is usually harder to fix with each patch are not the features, with the exception of, like, balance. Balance is still sort of always up in the air with a lot of these features. It, al it almost always is something in the back end, whether it's PES, whether it's, the you know, all the new server meshing stuff, whatever it might be when they bring in like a new location that tends to get fixed pretty quickly when they bring yeah. in a new mission tends to get fixed pretty quickly so i have a lot of confidence in those things i'm really curious how long is it going to take for us to get this the old stuff ready. so yeah yeah all right. all right sorry space monkey for taking up your entire call <laughs> <laughs> no that's no, fine it's okay i mean i'm also curious about your comments about the uh, stuff we're talking about so um one last thing and then mm -hmm. i'm done okay um how do you how do you feel about the iscs because they did a different approach they had this big episode at the beginning where they're basically spoiled every every topic and now you're just like getting yeah. those topics over and over again 
And also the idea of make an IC and then do an SCL on the, la on the next week about it, which I like. Mm -hmm. But yep. this episode at the beginning, somehow, I am I'm not I, I lost the feeling of surprise. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, I, I know what's coming. And besides the cargo episode, there was not really interesting stuff for me so far. I mean Even it's this good to cargo see. The cargo episode was missing a ton. Yeah. Yeah. It was missing I will say the missions and reputation and possible rewards. Maybe there is a yeah, yeah. episode coming up. I hope. I hope as well. Let's see. I will say, at but, least with this ISC, in terms of like a surprise factor, we did essentially get spoiled of what the like UI has looked like the entire last couple of months. There's been little smatterings here and there at every single yeah. ISC. So there wasn't a ton new for them to show us. It was more just them getting into specifics, which is kind of what me and Mike were talking about at the start of the pod, where it was like, now, you know, this, this is still a thing that you, you have to talk about because it's such an integral part of the game, but mm -hmm. it's not as impactful as all of these other things are because it's it's... It's not as shiny, I guess. Yeah. Mm, for me, it's like missing a bit about um, hearing hearing about things that are outside uh, three two three as a patch, mm -hmm. and maybe also the sprint reports where you just like see little glimpses of things that hopefully come in a couple of months, but are more far far out. So I, I kind of miss those sprint reports a bit. I think they'll come back when he has nothing. Yeah, let's yeah. <laughs> he's right now getting all of all of those sprint reports we haven't had. They're all getting bunched together into a massive sprint report in yeah, a yeah, couple months' yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Well, that's it for me. Awesome. Well, cheers for calling in, as always. We appreciate it. Yeah. Cheers for having me, as always. <laughs> I I no will uh, I'll let you go, Space Monkey. But I'm going to make a comment a little bit on the the spoiling of things and stuff like that, uh, real quick. So. Thank you, Space Monkey. I just pushed him out by accident. I, I let go of my mouse. Um, the, <laughs> the, I am, at the end of every video, I, and, and this included, I want to say this, mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about Evo, right? But yep. you kind of have to, because everybody wants mm -hmm. to know this information. At the end of each video Evo update that I've been doing, is your audience like wants it, or the, the general Star Citizen audience wants to hear this stuff? So you tell yep. them. But uh, I, I don't like it for the reasons that we just talked about, about ISC. Mm. How nice would it have been if we went live and you just were walking in a forest to kill a bounty and an animal came out and killed you? But now everybody well, knows that yeah. they're there. They know exactly how to find them. They know what's on them. And they know everything. Before they even get to, tr to see it, they know everything. And it's like... It f I feel guilty talking about any of this stuff, but you're forced to. Un unfortunately, what you're describing, though, is not a Star Citizen problem. Uh, that is the, literally an internet problem since, like, the 90s. Yes, is, but... Is you just cannot... Like, like, the information will be out there yeah. before companies want them... Whether they want them to or not, it's going to be out there before release. And, and we're, just, we're not going to get back to that stage ever, unfortunately. Yes, but I think what other game companies do is the Evo phase would be done internally. So nobody ever sees it. The well, essentially QA. The yeah, the wave one p phase yep. would likely be done internally. And then wave two is where everybody is able to log in and experience it. So if you experience it on a PTU, everyone mm. that plays Star Citizen regularly has wave two. If you don't, I I'd be very surprised, right? So... That's an opportunity where you get to experience it for the first time yourself without anybody mm -hmm. else. And yes, if you got in five hours after the initial test and the YouTubers got to it, they got to it, and you happen to see that, oops, you're spoiled, right? Like, that sucks. Yep. What I do in the, in that case, click the three dots and say, unfollow, do not share this content with me anymore from this channel, right? Like, I saw an image of the dog on a YouTube video. That YouTube video will that YouTube channel will never show up on my feed again, right? I sure. saw the image of the Arastra before it was available. That dude's mm -hmm. YouTube channel I will never see again. Th those kind of things. So, you know, if you don't want to be spoiled, let your 
let your creators know. For me, yeah. it's been the opposite. It's like, well, how was Evo? 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 Yeah, and I, get I the, think, yeah. I get the opportunity to say how it is. And I like that we don't get to show it. But at the same time, there's like, there's there's way too much information to share. And, and I will be honest, we talked about this before uh, in one of our earlier podcasts when we first started. The only thing I ever advocated for was the patch notes. That's it. Yeah. Just talk, yeah. like, just show the cards of what's in the patch. Talk to us and, like, just let us know what you're planning on doing, and that's it. And if we were never allowed to talk about anything else, I would have been like, cool. Because uh, that's all I ever advocated for. This, they went so far where it forces you to spoil things to your audience and making mm -hmm. the game less exciting for them. And it, it sucks. Like, I got to experience the dogs in a way that you never will. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... Which the way they were performing sounds like a good thing in in my way. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but you're probably going to experience the same performance. Let, let's yeah, be real. Well. Any AI issues are not going to be resolved in 3.23. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I still think in general uh, what they what they chose to let people do in regards to Evocardia was a good thing. That was more positive than negative. Yeah. And I think a lot of the like like yeah if you if you don't want to be spoiled by things cuz cuz this is now coming more to like a like a creator opinion thing like if you don't want to spoil things or you don't want to be spoiled by things then it yeah it comes down to you you sort of have to police yourself because it's going to happen yeah that people are going to spoil those things um and I and like i said it is, it is not a star citizen issue right like the the one thing mike that i regret being too young to know is when Magic the Gathering used to not have spoiler season and you would come day one to the new set release and not know a single card there and it was impossible to know. And then someone decided, what if we put those cards on the internet? So <laughs> yeah, now yeah. now it's obviously a lot worse. But I mean, that's, that's sort of just the way it is. People have decks created before you can ever even open a pack. There was a guy, uh, this is such a tangent, but there was a guy who was a professional magic player and managed to get the entire set uh, leaked to him like two months beforehand. Uh, and he got banned because he essentially had two extra months of testing before the Pro Tour. So he would just draw the card, like he would just have cards. Yeah, he was like, he I know what all these cards are. I'm just going to like write up, write yep. up what the cards are and whatever. And, and make then yeah he 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 got he got banned for like 10 years or something uh because he, he was able to he was able to play the game he was able to play with the cards for way earlier than everyone else was okay anyway that is nothing to do with Ivakati, but it's just but like it's a, a, it, it it's is just a like, leak story i think occasionally like on days that we have a bit more time i think tangents are okay like this it's a it's an yeah, interesting yeah. story but yeah i mean <laughs> in the end i asked i asked the the audience and it was overwhelmingly mm -hmm. please do this yeah and People nobody said don't and i'm like okay yeah. like i know like my best performing videos in a uh, recent time i'm complaining about having to do but yep. it's it's one of those things where it's like a more moral thing i i don't i it feels yeah. morally gray and doesn't feel right um so even though they let us do it doesn't mean we should uh, I think it's also, it may just be a case of because it's been so long not being able to do it it does feel wrong but like yeah. It it won't. It won't eventually because everyone's I, doing it. I also love that I got shit for posting those videos when I never posted a single thing when we weren't allowed to. That was my favorite thing about this week. I'm going to go dislike your videos right now. <laughs> that was my that was my favorite thing about this week. Yeah. Um cuz yeah, I've been nothing but but a good boy for this whole time. <laughs> I've so. been a good boy, Daddy CIG. Please give been. me ships. <laughs> I have been. It's been ridiculous. All right. Let's get to our next callers, though. Yeah. Manila Garlic. Manila Garlic. How you doing, Manila? I, first time caller, I think. That's right. How you guys doing? How can I forget Fantastic. a name like Welcome Manila in. Garlic, right? I, I, <laughs> that had to be a first time caller. If I didn't know that name, it'd be surprising. That name's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I just want to say appreciate the show and uh, happy to be here. Awesome. What do you want to talk about? Watching um specifically with distribution centers what are your mm -hmm. thoughts on what a successful balance looks like between mining hauling and salvaging C crafting yep like is it i don't know if that's a weird 
thing to say there there's no such thing as balance in video games i'm like i know this is going to be crazy well, there is but you should there's not no perfect balance yeah and you should yeah. not try to make mining cargo hauling and salvaging equal each other in terms of like money per hour or anything like that so for to i think the only way i can answer your question is is the perfect balance between them would be they all do something a little bit different but all those things are useful and purposeful yeah. and needed there are reasons there are reasons that someone will do like there, there are reasons that there will be people doing all three yes but, uh, but yeah, there will always be a time where doing one over the other will be more lucrative of course yeah right and that might change occasionally hmm. does that make sense it does and the question kind of spurs from what you saw like the drug war you know the drug wars were one thing but this whole thing with reclaimers i mean 90 percent of the servers are filled with people <laughs> just doing salvaging you know yeah, and it yeah. completely flipped the economy on its head you know 890 jumps you see them every you know no one cares anymore and they used to be an event mm -hmm. kind of thing you know i've also noticed so many people asking me will there be a wipe in 323 and i think that's why yeah right um and and the only thing i can say to to what you just said is the monthly report they went through they went through and they looked at salvage mm -hmm. what they gave us no details what that yep. means i don't know so we'll see um i don't know if i want a wipe in 323 i want one patch where they can prove that all of the ships that people purchased in game and all of the components that people purchased in game made it from one patch to another and they have yet to do that once they do that wipe oh. away that's that's my thing so let's get a wipe in 321.1 or 323.1 and then but maybe not in 323 so yeah Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Because I, I was going to say, like, I, I definitely want them to prioritize a wipe because the incentive to me to play the PU right now is essentially non-existent. Same. Other, other, other than, like, events. Same. But, but yeah, if, a, if it's like, yeah, cool, from a, let's do it, make the but game then good. soon after, sure. Yeah, let's make the game yeah. good standpoint. Let's prove that you guys are able to uh, persist shit. Then yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, once they can do that, please wipe. But until you yeah. can... Uh, I don't think they should because they. I think having the money to purchase the ships to see if things carry over is uh, quite useful for right now. I, I've done it every patch, mm -hmm. and so far I've been able to, but I don't know. Well, if that's the case, I suppose we don't have to worry about hangar sizes since everyone's going to have the biggest one, right? Good point. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> Good but, point. We'll, Buy we'll your find out. Now. Yeah. We'll hopefully find out during the Q&A this week if it is going to be related to pledge or to you know board in game or to changing all that sort of stuff because one thing because we talked a little bit about this last week right um one thing that i had completely forgotten is that you have hangers in your pledge um which if they turn it no what we still don't know if they're going to turn that on now but that would sort of insinuate that the hanger size is going to be related to pledge store possibly um hope it's not yeah but yeah you're making a video game and that yeah. that again was the most disappointing thing about that that particular isc was it seemed very pledge store related and we're making design decisions off of pledge store stuff and not in-game stuff so it's like what yep kind of sad what else you got man uh just to shift a little bit to racing uh you two uh, have yeah. uh, been major proponents of it, and uh, you kind of inspired me to look into it as well. And it's it's actually pretty oh, cool. Yeah. Um, I I agree with every video that anyone makes on it. If it it helps you be a, a better um, not driver but pilot. Uh, so my question to you guys is, um, how far do you see yourselves going in like in racing? Are you going to join the leagues? Are you going to look to compete? Um, do you guys have plans I... on becoming the next Scott Speed or Daniel Ricardo? Uh, I already was. I already was. I'm washed now. I'm trash now. <laughs> uh, so the reason that I'm in that I'm in the racing community is like two, three years ago. I went really, really hard into it. I was number one qualifier for the first system seven. I got the first uh, SCR time trial masters win. Um, I've never really been into flying racing, but all the ground racing stuff I was always heavily in. Now I'm garbage, and everyone who's actually good at racing has popped up. So I'm gonna let them do it, but I'm gonna cheer them on the whole time. <laughs> If 
there's more tracks like Clio Islands, I yep. will I will go pretty hard on racing. Oh, I've got a track for you, Mike. Yeah, I've got a track for you. Yeah, it is in the PU, but we're pushing on Duncan to put it into Arena Commander because it's, okay. it's so good. Yeah, I yeah I love the the flat, windy, turny kind of yep. tracks. Um, yep. like think old Vanderbilt too, like the short ones, mm -hmm. short lap times, things like that. I I can find myself diving very hard into it. Um, uh, yeah, but it's hard because every time I'm sure Kronzi's seen this too. Every time I go race on stream like nobody's talking anymore and oh, everyone it's so leaves. bad for stream yeah it's, it's just so not bad a, for stream. it's just not a bad yeah. it's just not a good thing to do on stream and the thing is is like yeah. everybody has their video game time right it's mm -hmm. usually after work for them mine is during work and that is my only video game time really right like there's other things that are going on that i have to do so the 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 only time I really do get to grind sometimes is on stream. And, and yeah, it's one of those things just like, I should not be doing this. <laughs> I want to, <laughs> but I should not like, no. like right before stream, I, I just lowered my best time by like half a second again. And I like found yeah. a little bit more time and now I'm excited and I want to go and grind it again. And yeah, but it takes like, I have more hours in this, in Clio islands than everybody, but one other person. Right. Like, <laughs> which is Moldan, i assume <laughs> yes yes yeah, yeah. exactly so it's like you need to dedicate a lot of time so yeah. to answer your question almost definitely not i will almost definitely not dedicate time to become a top racer i think one of the reasons why i have a decent time is because of the friction it uh, or decent spot on the leaderboards is because of the friction it takes to get a decent spot on the leaderboards i was willing to deal with where better racers aren't. There are better racers in these communities on websites and shit that they're not on those leaderboards uh, or some of them are, but they're not as high up on as they are in the times that they have on their websites because of that. So, yeah. Yep. So I, I want to, but I doubt I will. But it's one of the things I was always hyped about. One of the first ships I bought after my initial pledge was an M50 because I was obsessed. Uh, with racing. Loved racing games always. But yeah. Anything else you want to talk about, Manila? No, I appreciate you guys' time. Uh, just, I, I will say that, uh, like a lot of people have noticed, I thoroughly get a kick out of the fact that it's called a Copian and it's yes. so close to Copian. <laughs> Who so named good. that thing? I want to know. Like, That's I want to know that the person on the narrative team. Exactly. I want to know what the, uh, the thought process was there, if that was involved <laughs> in it, because that is funny. I love it. Well, yeah. thank you guys for everything. I'm looking forward to the next videos and the rest of the content today. Y'all have a good one. You too, man. Bye now. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Nice. Straight to the point. Quick yeah. caller. And and with the nice ego rub to us as well. Of course, of course. That's always yeah. important. <laughs> All right. I think another first time caller. Warbot Nix, first time. How you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Am I right? Is it first I've... time? I'm like... We've been doing this for so many years now. I'm not sure sometimes. Yes, this is my first time getting on because I am not a morning person. Yeah. Every time oh, I get up, sorry. You, I've like, I even set an alarm last week trying to oh, wow. catch him the last week. And I'm like, nope, never mind. Going back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you want um, to talk because about I work. Today? Well, actually, I do have a quick question about um, a few of the UI elements. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, so one of the UI elements that I was a little concerned about was actually on the star map. So from what I saw at CitizenCon, it was in a, you know, it was a, in a circle area in the middle of the screen. Mm -hmm. Is that too constrictive or do you think that, um, that's enough space to do what you need to do to get around the place and navigate? Because I feel like there is some missed opportunity to try to expand that to, you know, at least take up more of the screen. Uh, you, you answer first, I'm going to bring up the star map demo from citizen con and it'll, because I have the ability to have seen the new one. I think I have some context I can add to it. Franz, I'm just bringing it up now. Well, that's the thing. I can't really answer it. Cause I didn't get into Avocati. Okay. So I, I think, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I have it. All, over, all right? I've seen, all I've really seen is, uh, is like the ISAs and stuff. And so exactly, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure where it's like, sure, where, you, where they've gone. 
I think it's the way he asked the question, which is which is what maybe is confusing. So look at the screen. He's asking yep. if this little circle that is not taking up a majority of the screen is enough room mm. to get the information that you need. Oh, uh, sure. Mm. So that's right. why I was like, yeah, you could take this one while while I'm bringing it up. I mean, look at look at the visual on the screen now. Sure. I see the names yep. of the planets. I see mm -hmm. I can see visually the planets what they look like. I can tell what they are without having to see the names mm -hmm. if you're familiar with the game. Um there's uh I guess room for additional thing. Like you can even see the location of where you're at on the on the bottom right, things like that, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So what has changed is where it says select has turned into search. And when yep. you search, the the search options will go down here. And let's say I choose Orison. Orison will show up here. I click on it, and then all this information on Orison is here. Okay, yep. perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I, because it was just a lot of empty space. Is there time of day shading in... 323 Durval, I see him mentioning it, and it's something I, I have not mentioned yet, and I'm 99% sure I saw it on the star map as well. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to let him answer in chat. Yeah, there is. Okay. So that's okay. another thing that's on the map that isn't here that is on the map in, in 323. Have not mentioned that in any of my videos yet. That's massive. That's a big, big thing, mm -hmm. too. Um, so you could be like, oh, is this on the light side or the or the dark side? And you can make your choices on where you're going on a planet. But there is the the reason it's center is because there's actual information they want to provide to you on the right and left sides. And you are yeah. in the new map interacting way more on the right and left side than you actually are with the map. I never have to zoom out of the map, click on Crusader, click on Orison to get to Orison. I just type it on the left side and press R. And that's when it. did you ever like spend some time trying to explore the map? Not like, not not through putting in the filter yes. and stuff. And it's shit. How how was that? Okay. okay. Shit, because there's white text on the white background of Microtech. I can't yeah, see yeah. anything. So from a a visual standpoint, as far as the markers, the mission mm -hmm. markers, it is it is actually right now in the state in Evo, caveat city. <laughs> it's worse than live. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's worse than live. Yeah. But the expectation would be there's no shot it's going to be worse. Yep. Cuz yeah. And you already mentioned there is a way to interact with it which is much better. Yes. There's a workaround yeah. that is significantly easier so just use that. Yeah. My my extra one which is kind of like an additional thing to what Warbot was asking. You talked about how uh when you like did zoom in or whatever when you had party markers that they were sort of on the sides. Um, they were like they... here. So when did you like try to search people? Was there like issues with like clashing of party markers and searching and stuff? Or so you can't search their names up here. That's not sure. an option. So it's just dots, and they're all the same. They look all the same. Okay. There is a hilarious bug that I hope mm. stays and I hope everyone gets to see it because uh -oh. if you watch on Twitch, there's going to be party emotes, dancing emotes. It's so funny. So again, let's say you have seven party members. There will mm. be four on this side scattered here and there'll be three on this side scattered here probably. And every single time you wave your mouse over them, have you ever been to like, Epcot in Disney where there's like lights that shine at you and they go in a circle and it's like yeah, a yeah. dark room. It's that, yeah, but yeah. every party marker has a different color when you wave your mouse over it. And it just becomes right. this ridiculous <laughs> lightning storm of, of lights. And it just looks ridiculous. It's insane. It's like the craziest, stupidest bug. Um, Def definitely intentional. So I think, but the reason I bring that up is all the party markers now are these like black, like circles with like a black interior and like a little carrot on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I think the intention would be that each player's party marker on the map might be a different color. Right. So you are like, oh, Kronzi is blue. And I can find Kronzi's marker easily then via that colors 
coding system, but I don't know because right. it was just okay. a, a weird bug. But they each had yeah. a different color, so maybe that was the idea behind that. Okay. okay. Can you still fast travel to your friends though? Yes. Um, yes, and, and not this, fast travel. Sorry, quantum. Yes, and this is what made it easier because, uh, for example, if you were on Daymar on this map. I don't have to double click Daymar, find the location that you're at and click on you. I just need to find your icon on the right or left side, click you and press R. Oh, that is so much better. Yeah. So it's like just a, a more enjoyable experience. And apparently I don't know anything about these. Somebody in my comments mentioned, and I forgot what they said. These buttons down below speed that process up even more. Okay. So, okay. yes. And somebody is asking in Twitch chat, I've mentioned it a few times, but I'll reiterate it. You cannot search for your friends in the search bar. No. Okay. Yeah. Which um, that is a little annoying, but that's also only going to be an issue if like you've got a massive party and you're trying to go to one specific person. Yeah. Right? It, it's just there is a database of locations that you can quantum yeah. to. That's what this map is reading, I guess. Yeah. So yeah it it's just one of those pain points that a lot of um the friends i've been bringing over to star citizen of course yeah. <laughs> it's just like i cannot get to you i cannot navigate this yeah. i quit mm -hmm. yeah and, <laughs> so and yeah like what yeah. are the guys that i've been playing with who's who's done more of that testing than i have you can see your party members in the mini map as well yeah. gotcha. so if you have a mini map available you can see them and you can navigate to them which is kind of cool mm -hmm. okay yeah okay yeah, so yeah, that was like a big thing because um, UI in this game feels very dated, and um, mm -hmm. and um, some of their color choices, white on white, the yeah. neon blue here and there, uh, it was cool at first, but then you realize may not be the best, <laughs> may, may not be the best selection. Just give uh, us a this. good old dark drop shadow. That's all we need. That's yeah. all we need. That yeah. solves so hard. many of these problems. You can keep, you can keep. Like your holographic aesthetic, you can keep your blues, all that stuff. Just make it so I can read it. <laughs> like for fuck's sake, man, the mining UI has been impossible to read for how long too? Like, and it used to be worse. Yeah, it's better yeah. and it's still shit. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's just they they don't get it, and it's so annoying. Nobody says they like it. Like that's yeah. the thing. We're not just complaining to complain about this nobody likes it dude like just <laughs> why are you still doing this i don't get it yeah. <laughs> but yeah. i will say that the visually the map looks better and you don't have mm -hmm. uh that w where they zoom in and you see how like the lines are crossing on top of it yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you don't have that it's the moon right, right. is above it and again you yeah, can cool. see these markers very light colored right mm -hmm. those are the same ones that are there but they are so hard to see in comparison yeah. to these. These are easier to see than anything I've seen. But again, look at Nakamura Valley Aid Shelter. Mm. Can't even read it here. Yeah, so you would have hoped that this would have been. Yeah, you would have hoped this would have been better by now. Um, but I think their priority was probably functionality, like the search bar, yeah. over visuals for now, and they can get the visuals right. Uh, probably a lot yeah. easier than delivering that functionality. And I will say, I way prefer them delivering on this if it was a choice of making this more readable or delivering the search bar. Yeah, I was going to say for a game that prioritizes art over functionality for a while. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Finally, yeah. they're prioritizing functionality over art and I'll take it. I will never complain about yeah. that shit. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Yeah. And, um, oh my God, I actually lost my second question, but I'll skip it to the third one for Kronzi actually. Uh, okay. Gravel of racing. Um, actually, um, so is my two. Like, so something that I've always wanted to, um, to try out is gravel up racing. Probably is really soon. Um, have you, um, have you experienced any issues, um, or foresee any issues with the current master modes? Um, because I sort do of. know that. Hmm? Sort of. So I, I. This is a crazy had, question. Yeah, I had yeah. thought like, yeah, are they going to completely change how the Hover bikes work because of master modes because they use the flight model for, for at least for because yeah, they're um, spaceships in as far yeah, as the game is concerned. Spaceships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, what I have been told by Herbie, one of the best 
pilots in, in, in the game for, for ground vehicle stuff. Herbie is the reason uh, I'm on into... the leaderboard. He's the man. Yep. Yep. Uh, Herbie went into uh, Eva Cardi today, and apparently they had master modes. So um, I don't know how they're going to perform. Yeah. I imagine it'll be very different. Uh, otherwise, like it is possible they don't change much because when you actually think about it, at least on in atmosphere, um, grav levs kind of already work like master modes, right? They, they have, have a top speed that's low. They have a top speed. The only thing that's different is like the the extra boost, right? Like you going to a top speed and then getting an additional top speed when you boost. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that's really different. They kind of feel the same otherwise. So I think there could be a problem, but they've been doing so much balancing and so much changing of grav levs over the course of the last few months that I would imagine uh, they don't want that to change too drastically. Uh, but how it works with the new system i don't know so i think 100 percent there could be problems what i do want to say is you have nine minutes left to do grab race grab races for the next like few weeks because it, it goes away in nine minutes i know it's oh. so sad <laughs> all right gotcha Kronzi, you take it'll, it'll be a permanent fixture though it'll be a permanent fixture Kronzi, you're taking over the show because i'm doing a few laps on cleo islands right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah because as soon as i saw gravel like f0 really yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I just, I just imagine at first, like, all right, I'm gonna get a Captain Falcon helmet and let's go. <laughs> wait, yeah. no, wait, hold on. I just, I just hit my PB time in practice. Oh no! So I'm not gonna uh -oh. be able to do a better leaderboard score. Oh no! I'm so sad. <laughs> when, what, let me let me really quickly check when it comes back because I am a little bit disappointed that it went away that quickly this time. Can you time, tell us we had two Can you time. tell us what's coming today? As yes. well, because DJ again um, was hinting I, yeah. at something. So today is a uh, single weapon elimination, kill collector FPS, and kill collector vehicle. Uh, it does not say what the single weapon is. So I imagine the uh, reason okay. that it's getting really excited is there's probably some really funny he, weapon in there. He get, he likes the single weapon elimination stuff. Yeah, yeah. And the, um, when is this? Where is it? Here. Yeah. So they don't say. And they don't say with the vehicle, but I would imagine that it's um ship just because I, the way that you get the 99, 999th test squadron is through kill collector vehicles. Okay. And I still have to do that, actually. Yeah. Um, I didn't get the reward for that. I have a funny feeling that the reward's going to be like an egg for Easter or something like Probably. that. Um, oh, yeah, it is Easter. Yeah, so mm -hmm. they might do like something like that since it's coming out today. Uh, since all these have been themed by some reward, but we'll have to see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Gravlev's not coming back until April 14th. And once again, it'll be in for a week. At least it's scheduled to only be in for a week, and then you know, and so on. The okay. big thing, though, is you will get, and and, and I am very, I'm hoping Warbot next. I'm going to see you on the the leaderboards. Um, the uh, private lobbies are supposed to be coming with 323. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, it is almost certain that Grav Re uh, Grav Lev Racing will become a permanent mode because it's been incredibly popular. So um, I, I I envision a lot of that stuff you know, happening a lot more in the next couple of months. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I remember my uh, previous question. Um, mm -hmm. In um, the last Evo, oh, in not Evo, but ISC with the freight elevators, um, we saw a hint of some of the new mobile glass functions. One of the functions at the bottom, when he was calling in to, to his, um, it was at the part where he was calling in to ATC to what the land his, it looks like a C2. Mm -hmm. There was a section called landing, like like a button called landing. What was that for? Or do we not know yet? Uh, that's not an Evo. I'm looking for it. Was it on the most recent ISC? Uh, it was during like to to elevator. to and fro uh to uh, from, from cargo, cargo whatever. It's okay. Called. Yeah. Give me a moment. I'll try it to was, find it. Yeah, because me and my friends we were speculating. Like, Wait, what is that? Is that a new landing UI? Is it a landing search? I'll tell so, you that, according, um, according to Tumblr yeah. Reno, it's apparently the it's like the repair, rearm, refuel app. Oh, huh. I, they so they've renamed the apps at least in Evocati mm -hmm. to make mm -hmm. sense um, to new players. So, like the um, 
Yeah, I noticed. I noticed Delphi was non-existent. Del Delphi is not non-existent. Off. It's just called Rep now. Yeah, which so is you, that was such a good name. I'm so that's fine. That's fine. If you <laughs> click it, it. Yep. I don't. I don't know. It might say Delphi as the app when you go into right. it, but in at sure. least on the bottom where you're like, what do I want? A player, a new player will go. My reputation yeah. is here, right? So it, it okay. makes way more sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, from that standpoint, I am still looking for this, but I believe Tumblerino. He's in Evo with us, and and everything. Um, I I don't recall it being uh saying landing currently, but he must be on it. So yeah, I can't find yep. it in the in the to and fro from okay. cargo, but. Yeah, that, okay, that's basically how to answer the question is they've gone away from all the in-lore shit because they realized it was confusing to new players. Um, yeah. So, yeah, he's on it right now yeah. and said that's what it is, which is Delphi one of the, was such a good name, though, Mike. It is a good name, and it's still Delphi or Delphi or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just. No, apparently it's not. That's that's well, once again, if Tumblrino is to believe, uh, be believed, it's been yeah. completely removed as, yeah. as Delphi. So the Oracle of Delphi, is... she's going to tell you all about your rep, but no. Now yeah. it's just rep. <laughs> Knickknacks yeah. on. Yep. I forgot uh, what it's, it, it's called something else, like stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it, it literally yeah. has a name like stuff. Uh, I can't it. remember off the top of my head, but it's like, yeah, it's 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 really, really simple. Yeah, yep. So just need to add crafting somewhere in there. So I can watch my crafting like, you know, projects. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll be happy. Um and um, and this will be my last question because I know mm -hmm. because I actually do want to hear what Tumblrina has to say because I'm kind of interested. Um, the last thing is is that um, uh, and this is a good tangent for since new players are now starting to pour in. Um, I come, me and my crew come from warships where that's another place that sells ships for real money. Great, mm -hmm. it's awesome. I hate it. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> You mean but, the way um, that people have been making money in the last 10 years <laughs> is predatory and no one likes it? No way. Well, actually, buying the, the ships, the least, well, buying the ships outright isn't as bad. As least, at least you know what you're going to get, but a lot of their Job. ships now are tied behind loot boxes and randomized containers, and I'm going like, yeah, yeah. nope. So, But the interesting thing is that a lot of the content creators are starting to take a jump into star citizen like jingle like some so i don't i don't want to name them here but the, some of their interesting content creators are starting to look at it and i actually put one in the react and i was like oh that's a lot of outdated information he's putting out <laughs> um do you think 3.23 is a good time to start in, like sort of like half recommending players to like okay come and give it a try it is a good time to play because I came back to the game no. right as 318 dropped. Oh. Yeah. That, <laughs> and, and that's exactly where I'm going with this. Yeah. No, yeah. because after 323 is server meshing shit, and we have no <laughs> idea what's going to happen with that. So I say no for that reason alone. So you don't get the th How are you on this podcast still here and didn't quit this game and say never again? If that was your first experience with it, you it's know just what I mean? How, it's just how good this game is, Mike. You, it's true. You know, it's true. Well, it's so good. That, that's the interesting yeah. thing. I think I was blessed. I mm -hmm. experienced very few issues at 318 because the only thing in my hangar, and I think I may have was been on ship. the receiving, yeah. was one ship because yep. I only remember buying a Mustang. Yep. Mm -hmm. And somehow I received somebody's Corsair and another person's Corsair and my eight. Um, I was like, I don't remember buying this. I decided to run back to 2016. I was like, did I buy this? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, nope. I, it, yeah. I think I think uh, similar things as Mike, but I do think that 323 will be a good time to start as long as it's a good launch, first off. Checking right? it as out. As for it is sure. a solid, solid That's the thing. One yeah. of the biggest advantages you have with Star Following Set. it. Yeah, following it. And if you get that initial hype from a massive patch release that'll keep you in the game for a very long time and it'll mm -hmm. keep you through bad releases yeah. so yeah i think it'll be a good time to start as long as the patch itself releases well uh but then like you know if you do recommend it to people do genuinely say like yeah look 323 it's probably gonna be good but be yeah. prepared for like some upcoming rough times most likely mm-hmm 
I'm I'm yeah. launching Star Citizen right now because it's noon. <laughs> this is when when uh, you need to find out what the single weapon is. Yeah, I wanted to see what DJ was so excited about. So yeah, yeah. I'll let you guys know when I when I find out. All but, all Atscavs. By the way, the <laughs> your stuff is called assets. So now you get what I'm saying. Asset. Okay. Like it makes yeah, it, yeah. it was the nice way of like the good way of saying yeah, your, yeah. Your, uh, your stuff's over here. Things. Yeah, things are and stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't know. Do you have anything okay. else, or do we are we going to Tumblr now for the for the um... evil <laughs> comp- competition thing that was pretty cool? Mm, no, I'm just. Um... Uh, I just want to thank you guys for uh, having me on. It's great uh, for you guys uh, to talk about this because I do like, you know, this back and forth because, um, you know, sometimes, you know, if you're just talking to yourself, you're just like no feedback, no bouncing ideas. You don't get that. As you, long you sometimes as you don't, don't answer don't yourself, things. it's okay. Oh, I do that all the time, unfortunately. <laughs> Luckily, you can't answer your own call. Wait, it's not the end of the, it's not the end of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude it's not yeah. turned on yet what wow duncan yeah. lying to everyone i oh. don't see it yet in the pu gotcha well um yeah i mean that's about it um other than that um it is i'm cautiously optimistic now that i've experienced 318 up till now but overall though i think it was a good it was a good it was good for me to start in 318 because so far every patch after that has been a better, better, not yes. so better than better experience. Yes. So I, every yeah, patch but if you start at the bottom of the barrel, history. like <laughs> yeah, every yeah. I mean, I start patch in history was better. Yeah. yeah. So I think that was good for me, but for but um, I think it it definitely scared a few friends away. They're like, hey, this game yeah, is pretty cool. cool, and then they when they got in, they're like, this game is nope, we're leaving. No, nice. that we've talked about it before. Yeah. So many people were coming back in 318 because of yep. the hype around yeah. it, and it just fell so flat. It, like... it took all the air out of them, man. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. why we have a test preview channel now. Is they never want that to happen again. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. And but I'm I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad the foundations are being set now, and I do hope dynamic server meshing comes, um, you know, in a good state, and then. Yeah, everything else so far that they're doing is great building blocks to go on that foundation. So yep. I am now seeing tangible progress. Um, mm-hmm. And um, it's good. It's, it's, I'm honestly pretty happy about it. Um, but th- yeah, that's about it. And um, thank, you for, uh, thank you for your time. And um, I do hope to jump on, you know, if I can wake up early enough. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, good. Thanks right. for calling in. Yeah, man. All right. Bye-bye, All right, guys. Let's- Let's go to uh, to Tumblr now. So I'm I'm Duncan so. Duncan says it's live. Yeah, yeah, and and I think I just made a Windows sound on everybody's computer. I'm sorry because I was verifying my <laughs> files to see if that was my problem. Um, so Tumblr. How you doing? Good afternoon. Good, Good afternoon. Salty. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Talk to us. I I am so curious because again we we talk about all the events that happen in game that are mm-hmm. non PVP related. This is yep. not just PvP related, but piracy related. Like, just <laughs> w- tell me all about this. I no. am gonna watch it myself, but I'm really curious about the uh, like the event and, and what it's all about. Understood. So, um, to begin with, um, this isn't an event that wasn't part that wasn't um, organized Done. by Ram or yeah. Uh, it was a conjoint uh, event from all mm-hmm. the PvP orgs. Uh, Dead mm-hmm. Frag is in the chat. He was one of the responsibles for organizing the event itself. So the event, uh, give me a second here. It's called Major League Piracy. <laughs> and it was pretty much, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's funny, but the, the rule sought for it, it's very akin to how things go in the PU. Uh, that for, if that frags in chat, I see is you just help me along the, the introduction with the event here. Should you see any inconsistencies of what I'm saying, please, so I don't pass along incorrect information but in uh, in all in all respect to the, the event it was a 5v5 tournament so it was okay. uh, made in ac uh, we okay. occu- uh, every single org occupied all the slots to lock down that lobby since we yep. don't have private lobbies yet 3.23 mm-hmm. incoming um like on a, sorry, just we... like on a on free fly or no for all the for all uh, ac from what i understand but it's still too early to see 
still, but no. it's going to be custom lobbies for us to actually enjoy our favorite game modes. No, no, and I mean, practice the, the one, sorry, the one that happened on the weekend, were oh. you doing that in free fly? It was done in free fly, yes. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay. So given that the given that the the Star Marine loadouts uh, go to free flight as well, once you keep your mm -hmm. characters, we had they had strict rules for everything. Uh, uh, they had real rules for equipments. They had to use the same kind of equipment, different colors, and they, it was a five v five. So the attacking team would start in a cutty a blue or a cutty black in this case, and the opposing team would either defend in a, an A ninety a Starfarer, a Hammerhead, or a Carrack. Oh. Now, the, the, the was done by round. So one attacks, yeah, red versus blue, exactly. One attacks, and the other one defends, and they would um, invert the roles each round until uh, until a winner was, uh, was declared. Mm -hmm. But given the similarity, how it works in the PU, but with less instability, it was an amazing event. Mm. We could see the real the, the PvP orgs really um, come together to organize not only the event but the way it was done. It was spectacularly well done. Ever since since the the the, the presentation, the production, the organization, the rules, everything was super well done, and it was fun. It was actually fun to see how the PvP uh, FPS players would behave in a boarding event. Kind of mm -hmm. situation, how would they would breach, what tactics they would re uh, recourse to once they're inside the ship, what weapons they would deploy, and we saw a variety of techniques and even players we weren't even expecting to excel to be amazing at, at the boarding. It was pretty. Right, so, pretty sorry well. to interrupt you, Tumblrino. Mike, are you mm -hmm. playing single weapon elimination right now? Yes. <laughs> Did Bunt, this Bunt been trolling us with that? It is an April That's Fool's amazing. joke. It is oh, a rocket amazing. launcher pistol, like a toy gun pistol. Oh my, that's amazing! And it has a hundred uh, rounds and six hundred in in like magazine reserves. Yeah, like yeah. reserves. Oh, you yeah. gotta lead. You gotta lead those shots, Mike. <laughs> that's amazing. Mike wouldn't have done too well at this. Uh, oh, this is her. actually pretty I mean, fun. I'm actually gonna play that. Yeah, I'm gonna play the hell out of this. This is this is kind of funny, man. So sorry to derail a little bit, but I, I had, no, I had it's to... quite all right. Um, but it actually looks of, pretty out, entertaining. So out of my own curiosity, Tom Marino, do you know how many people participated? Yes, sir, I do. Uh, so organization-wise, the following orgs were part of the event. So it was PAX, PO, mm -hmm. EMP, Vanguard, WHO, LR, RAM, and EA. So these are all... all piracy orgs or pvp yeah. orgs that came together for the events and you could see their proficiency you could tell right away it wasn't their first time boarding a ship yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, and, that's, they, that's and the, awesome. the, the the good part they've having to deal with uh the the, the scuff tva we have currently for example uh the to know how to use believe it or not they actually use grenades <laughs> efficiently <laughs> nice. it worked hey yeah. can dead it was... dead can you post whatever youtube vod or anything like somebody posted a i think heim delight posted like a twitch mm -hmm. stream and a, and a time that it was going to start at for me which mm -hmm. you know like a vod is something that people would love love to see so let me know and, and we'll, we'll include it in the the description and everything as well okay no yep. absolutely uh, i was covering yeah. for links but i think that frag will be able to uh will be able to provide them way better yeah yeah but no, the event i a, was a link to me so please dm it to me i was I was watching the event like it was a real eSport, just on the edge of my seat, just cheering yeah. on for, for, for everyone. It was fun to see that people can actually use the free flight event other than blowing up little starships, mm -hmm. little flight fighters, and come together to actually do something that is used in the PU in a competitive manner. Yeah. In a, yeah. Well, in a, well, uh, in a very organized uh, environment. Yeah. I think that that kind of event is probably going to be one of the more popular, like, uh, we're seeing that before. So but we're back up to normal. So I don't know. It's cause it's cause you were playing stars. That's, that's the problem. Yeah. It was the, it was the rocket hit my internet, I guess. I literally, <laughs> it closed it when I closed it, I think yeah. is when it happened, but I don't know. looks like YouTube's yeah. still having issues, unfortunately. Oh, maybe it's back. 
Maybe it's, we're back. We're back on YouTube as well. All right, cool. Server recovery okay. is working on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So for, the, for everybody watching on the YouTube VOD, I don't know how YouTube handles an internet disconnection, but my OBS, like the Twitch OBS servers that I would normally use, just no, it's got to be my internet because if it was a Twitch server, the OBS on YouTube would have stayed up. So yeah. Or just, or it's it could be a hardware thing too. Yeah. Just had a weird hiccup. But anyway. So apologize. Anyway. Where were we? <laughs> uh, so we're talking about the event itself, if it itself still. So one of the main mm -hmm. things they've inspired the event on was uh, competitive games, such as Valorant, CS:GO, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, it's, uh, as well. And mm -hmm. that's where they took the inspiration for the rule set and how to organize the yep. event. It went super smoothly, and uh, even orgs that were already eliminated from the match were always there. With members to full to fill up the entire lobby, so no randoms That's would get cool. in and ruin the event. That's yep. cool. It was Love super that. well organized. Love that. And That's I hope awesome. to see more events of this in this in the future for sure, and and see how the dynamic changes because now we have the FPS changes incoming, mm -hmm. for sure. And I again, I'm not. I, I don't want to go to the the route of spoiling things as Mike uh, advertises, and I think it's a very good mentality. But I'll leave this with you: the shotguns sound amazing and behave mm -hmm. amazing, mm -hmm. and it's actually cool. worthwhile using. I want to see people actually losing shot using shotguns during breaching and see how they behave in such close quarters environment. For example, it might yeah. change the dynamic quite significantly in the PU. Okay, so. Yeah. Nice, awesome, uh, very <laughs> much. So. I, I I love that. And I, I dead frag. Um, uh, I I know you're you're hearing. So again, thank you for the event. Thank you for streaming it, and it was super well organized. Yeah, I can't so say on, this enough. It's on his Twitch stream. For whoever said his link is sketchy, it's a it's a Twitch link. It's not sketchy. Oh, all Twitch links are sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. And, and and again, this is something that even other people other people that. Uh, are in the PU can benefit from by watching the the, the tournaments and the vods mm -hmm. because it shows you ways how to defend your ship properly that attackers might not have a slightest idea how to deal with it actually is good in, that you might encounter a situation like this in the PU and if you have a few numbers in your team you might actually successfully defend and yeah. again while the, the attackers always have the advantage these tactics might bring the playing field a little bit more uh, leveled yeah that's the awesome. only the only thing I'll say about that, when you do start to get like more heavily organized events like that, um, you can't really learn from it as like a regular player of the game because it becomes about the meta of this very uh, well, well, this very policed event, right? Of you know only being allowed to use this many X Y Zs, uh, having like player parity. Player parity is never going to happen in Star Citizen, like live. Mm -hmm. That's just not going to be a thing, right? You can still learn um, some things, like some very basic strategies and whatnot, but it will become more about the meta of the event itself, which is also fine because that's where it becomes really interesting when you've actually got to, like, like when you when you start following teams and they do have to adapt to different play styles. I would disagree in that in that uh, assessment, Crouncy, in the single fact that, for example, if in in this uh, we all look at the G GL. Well, the GP thirty three, the the grenade launcher, as the end all be all of close quarter. Uh, uh, weaponry right if that is taken out of the equation because i do hope it gets a fuse or something to nerf the hell out of it please mm -hmm. if that is put aside then all the other weaponry is valid and i remind you that this event will add no add little to no restrictions in kind of weaponry you could use pretty much okay. everything so in that regard it came very close to the real uh, real pu situation and sure. the, the main takeaways here are not just strats of where to hide of where to defend of uh, what chokeholds you would hold, but also communication and how to properly communicate yeah, to avoid yeah, the that, situations yeah. of flattering, uh, flood, flooding comms with unnecessary communication. This yeah. is something a lot, a lot of people actually suffer in the PU, and it's very detrimental to any any organization. Do you know? Do you know what it could do as well? Just from a from another positive is any metas or any like overwhelmingly ridiculous tactics that are used could be you know, from the developer side, be like, yeah, we don't want that and and deal with it before yeah. the game ever comes out as well. So, yeah, like, exactly. The, which which the happens rules all the time. As, sure. as yeah, of course. And leaving the yeah. rules as limited as possible to allow for that to happen is, is a good thing as well. Yeah, definitely. 
again, this is something that already been said multiple times. Pirates don't play fair, but they yep. want a fair game. They exactly. want a balanced game. Yeah, yeah. And 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 if one person alone can just breach a hammerhead with a grenade launcher and 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 pretty much kill an entire crew of seven, eight people, that's not balanced. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that's not how we want the game. And if if any of the devs can actually take any lessons from those events and from the information those kind of players gather and give provide feedback to, please act on it. A balance. We want diversity. We want to use a shotgun in the shotgun situations or a sniper in sniper situations. We don't want to pick up a single weapon for every single thing. It gets yeah. boring. Same with the light yeah, fighters. I think it, I think it, the, from the FPS side that they're definitely communicating that outwards towards us. It's just a matter of whatever changes they made. We'll see if they work or not. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. But right. uh, that, that's that's pretty much it. And now we'll see how our future events go with custom lobbies. Mm -hmm. We actually might start seeing these events even more frequently. And even with the yeah. EVA, which is a godsend. I cannot stress this enough. Yes, the I godsend. Mean, oh, yeah, you got, yeah I was going to say, we didn't really talk about it. Yeah. I, it. I talked about it a little bit in the first video that I made, so it's been so long. Mm -hmm. EVA has been pretty good from the from the jump, I would say. Right. Uh, one of the more polished features. So uh, it, it basically, what you saw in the video is what we got lovely exactly. which doesn't happen very often so yeah, yeah. <laughs> i did i did a few experiments in the in the pew uh yeah not in pew on the ac module offline yesterday of pushing it to the limits like uh landing very close to the ground see if you go flat on your face landing sideways uh, even heads down and even going backwards into eva none of those failed Nice. Zero. Yeah. You would not land on your head, on flat on the face, nothing. You would be ready to immediately engage. Not even that. If you go backwards into EVA while securing the extraction place where you're uh, exfilling from, you would keep pointing at it and you keep shooting at the same location without any kind of lag, desync, or positional shift. Mm -hmm. Meaning you can just keep aiming at a corridor, for example, defending while you're extracting EVA. Looking awesome. backwards. Right? That's sick. That's very cool. That's yeah. also super cinematic. <laughs> yeah. Very. So it, yeah. it hits everything very. that Star Citizen wants. It works. Yeah, yeah. And they, we can make videos with it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And we the can only, make people the buy only, more ships. The only problem I have with it slightly is the forward decoupled. So when you push forward, it goes decoupled for a little bit. And it takes yeah. some getting used to. Because you have to come to press uh, the backwards key to come to a full stop. But Wrong. if you don't realize that you're going forward in the couples, well, it's going to be problematic. Other than that, I think it's 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 pretty much what they promised to deliver and much more. I love mm. it. Awesome, awesome. I'm excited. I'm excited for some things. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That Hopefully. and the and the physical, and and the physical and the physical changes to the to the freight elevators are gonna. I, I I'm just gonna say this. If they if they do well, we're gonna get reset in three twenty three. You have to change if to bring your things to another station or something. Uh, guess who now can start killing people and taking their their uh, their stuff. <laughs> so now that we do freight for the freight elevators, we might actually start um, looting weapons and uh, components off of other ships. I don't know if that's gonna be a thing or not. I surely hope so. Uh, I what still makes, have some doubts of how they're gonna work. What makes with this. this change for you? What what about that makes that change? Because I still don't see the point in doing it. So so we know we know for example that you'll be able to call uh, components and uh, ship weapons yep. uh, via freight elevator, right? Inside the boxes. Yep. So this means we'll be able to offload them as well. I would assume. Understood. Understood. Yeah, there's 32 SCU containers that you can open now. Is what they exactly. made it look like in the right. ISC video. So you got e exactly. easy storage for all your loot. One thing I can't tell you, and did I, maybe you saw this tumbler? Are they purchasable in the game yet? Do we know? Sorry, if are, are they what? I, I misread. A thirty-two SCU container. Can you purchase them in Evo? Because I didn't check. Uh, it's something I not the thirty-two. I think I've seen the eight, and I've seen. I think it's the sixteen SCU is also there. I did not see the thirty-two one. Okay. But I okay. might go check. But I I think some weapons, some big weapons and components already fit the 16 SU size. I, again, I haven't checked this out very thoroughly. I okay. would like to. Yeah. But I, I would speculate that would be one of the changes that freight elevators might come up with. Mm -hmm. The only doubt that I have is 
uh, given that if the ship components and ship uh, weapons are uh, inside the boxes, how we transfer them from one box to another? We can't drag them to the floor. They don't want all that. So how would we transfer items from one box to another that we can't drop on the floor, for example? Uh, you No, you, you may be able to drop them on the floor because we still have the the old inventory system exists. So I would imagine you would still be able to access and literally drag and drop stuff, right? That would be the case, Crouncy. You can't. It, it, here's the thing, Mike and, and Crouncy. I've checked the A2 and the C2. They yep. significantly reduced the internal inventory to the point where you can't fit a single size five weaponry. Sure. Mm. So you have to. And that's... To physical... They oh, might I'm, change this. I'm talking but... about the ability to just drop them. Uh, yeah, they might have that, but currently it says that you can't because it's not a weapon. Well, it's not a system that you can. Then they haven't like changed it. Okay, cool. Again. Yeah. So then, yeah. I don't know if there's any way you can do it. That would suck. Because you exactly. can only have one That's container what's open at a time. Me. In the current system, from the external ones, you can open multiple containers inside of a container. So if there was like a 32 SU container that had two 16s in it, you could swap them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the only way. Probably, yeah. Yeah. But it still leaves a lot of questions. The Matryoshka doll system co might cause a lot of problems with the system, with the server itself. We've seen this already with the backpack. Within the backpack, that was crush crashing the servers quite a, a long time yeah. ago, if I mm -hmm. remember correctly. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Although I don't know how they're gonna how they're gonna move forward, but I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see the, to see the 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 pl place where the game actually allows us to handle components, repair, retrofit, everything done by hand if necessary. I would love that, mm. and we'll lose them as well because we're we're, we, we're in need of dire more money sinks than we have currently. Agreed. Yeah, but I guess this is where we'll leave it. I don't I don't really know what, yeah, we're what, at, what we're two and a half hours and we're at two well. and a half hours so yeah i want to <laughs> there, there's a few more callers in the list i know hellhawk is there and stone lover i put you in the queue but there's no way we're going to be able to get to you guys today because I, I do um, apologize that was partly my fault uh, oh no, no it was not in mike's fault no it was not it was 100 percent hours yeah it's, uh, <laughs> it's all good tumblr you, you you were straight to the point on everything you talked yep. about so we're, we're good um i'll let you go though tumblr thank you for your insight and i'll, I'll hit yeah, you up maybe is. we'll try messing around with these weapons see if we can figure something out before the test ends absolutely if can, if would love to in. thank you for having me here yeah i don't know if i'll be able to get on today but maybe in a future patch yeah absolutely looking right. forward for it later bro awesome cheers all right, so that was Tumblr. That was our callers for the day. I I can't wait to watch that VOD. That sounds so cool, actually. Um, yeah. It's just cool to see something different as well because a lot of the events have been yeah. the same for a while. Like Atmo's been doing new stuff, yeah. but the same stuff for a while, too. It's just cool to see something entirely mm -hmm. different than what's been done. Um, it so is, I'll... and just, like, the, the fact that this weekend had so many different events from so many different, like, you know, people... Mm -hmm. And that that was still done before private lobbies. Yeah. Like like the fact that this is already happening means we're going to be so it's prepared only gonna get for easier. private lobbies. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it, I don't know. I got really excited this weekend with all of the events, especially with almost all of them running really well, too. It's like one of the first times where the game hasn't said, oh, you're running an event? We're going to 30k you every two minutes then. Get wrecked. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I guess that's where it leaves us. Can Star Citizen live up to the hype? Is 323 going to be amazing? We don't know yet. It, it's, I know. It's going to be great. The be only thing it's going to Guaranteed. be is is delayed. And the only thing that I'm mm -hmm. nervous about is if it's delayed too much, they're going to force this thing out because of a ship sale. The The thing that I fear the most Before, of, yeah, for Invictus. of why they were pushing so hard is they're, they're, they either worked on a Friday that they should have been off for mm -hmm. two reasons. Because they care so much that they want things to be good, as good as possible as fast as possible because they know this shit's going to get pushed out by a ship sale or yeah. because it's not ready and they need feedback and both are bad. It could be both. And both are, it could be both as well. <laughs> yeah. It could be both at the yeah. same time. Yeah. And um, yeah. So it's like, it's one of those where you knew what was going to be in this patch or you had these, the, the, the most concerning thing is these were features that have been tried and true and tested in a single player game. I know it's not made for the multiplayer game, but there's a lot of yeah, yeah. Uh, things that 
are understood about them before. It's not mm. like a feature that's flying by the seat of its pants getting into Star Citizen. Yeah. My concern is the lack of polish and the lack of pace getting these in for the rest of the year. So we'll see what happens. Mm. Like it's one of those things where everything about the the people coming over from Squadron and the pace of Star Citizen speeding up this is showing bad signs for that is, is all I'm saying for sure. now, because these are the things that should have been easy to get in. <laughs> What's going to happen later. They still have to actually make that stuff. They haven't even started making it yet. Yeah. Maybe. Right. So like what's going to happen to base building, what's going to happen to, to um, crafting things like that. Right. Yep. So those are where I'm like a little iffy now because these are coming in pretty unpolished and pretty messy, but they're mm -hmm. also coming in hot builds are unstable. That's the way things go. So we'll have to yeah, see. Welcome to Eva Cotty exactly you'll you'll find out soon enough <clears throat> my young padawan when you get there of how how bad it, it can be uh, at times yeah. sometimes you just yeah. go in and, and you're you literally just hop in the server to exist for whatever data they're trying to gather <laughs> you just yeah. you don't do anything because you can't right yeah so that's the way it is and and we had a little bit of that this week and and some cool things to check out but mm -hmm. i don't know i'm excited We'll see what happens, but I guess uh, I have my phone. So don't forget to like, subscribe. You could become a member if you want to go the extra mile. If you want to join the show at any time, discord.gg slash salty mic on Sunday mornings, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I don't know the UTC. It's five hours, I think, from now, because uh, I think they just changed over today. So also, don't forget to answer the call. Hey. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully uh, the YouTube video isn't too screwed up <laughs> from the, the internet. We'll see.